Oh yeah. Cheers! Yay! Oh, these are actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the Bobcast. Today we got a special treat all the way here from Connecticut. Please welcome comedian Aisha May. Hello, hi, thank you. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. How did I do on the pronunciation? You did pretty great. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Do you get that a lot in your life, like uh, yes. this name thing? Yeah, like, I mean, you understand it too, yeah. but like, I went my entire life till after college people called me Aisha and I didn't correct uh -huh. them and because I was like embarrassed by my name I yeah. don't know if you ever were like why'd you name me like, this name I hate this name <laughs> and then um I started correcting people when I was older because I'm like why the fuck am I letting mm -hmm. people tell me like my wrong name you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. um so yes my whole life <laughs> sure <laughs> what Did about you? you yeah no I was saying like I felt like um in my youth right people were like Oh, like, can't you have an easier name? You know, and then I got like Bob and B, like yes. the letter. And, yes. And now, as I get older, people are like, "No, I want to know your full name." <laughs> yes. And I'm like, I, like, I don't even know how to really pronounce my name because I use the whitewash version of it, Bavik. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's probably Bavik. It's like Bavik, you know. It's the the ba in yeah, it's the like very soft. Well, mine is like Aisha. Yeah. But you can't say Aisha. <laughs> you say Aisha. Like you know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. it's very sensual. People don't want to be sensual, so. Yeah, and then like I have like people like are like I need to say it like your mom, and I'm like, I don't really know how to even say it. So it's like. Yeah. Let's just move past. We just need to be able to communicate. Where is your mom from? Oh, uh, yeah. What's your ethnicity? Uh, we're all Indian, like oh, okay. Indian people. I mean, uh, Patels are all like Gujarati. Okay. You know what I mean? So I don't, but oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> we're all manufactured from one spot in okay. India. Oh, okay. Know? Okay. Just all right. Patel, 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 off the line. I like that's a good accent. Oh, uh, thank you. You know, I've been told I have a really awful Indian accent. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you actually have an accent, or that's like your, this is your make fun of your mom? Accent. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. like, that is make fun of my mom accent oh yes let's yeah. do a whole conversation <laughs> <laughs> is that your indian accent no that was my mom no because my mom's from, my mom's from iran so then okay. i i am always like Ayesha, why are you being so disrespectful <laughs> she talks like that oh, okay that's what it is in iran iran i was trying to figure out where Aisha comes from, you know? Yeah, so Aisha is actually, he's one of, it's one of the Prophet Muhammad's wives. It's his main wife, actually. Okay, okay, yeah, so you're not I mean, a side hoe. Yeah, no, I'm not a side <laughs> hoe. Pump out the good children. Um, uh, yeah, it's, so it's it's definitely a Muslim name, because I know it's in other Muslim, like other mm. cult, like countries. But yeah, my mom's from Iran, so here oh. we go. My name means life. Oh. She's, she's full of life. That's nice. Yeah, what is yours? Mine is, uh, I just looked it up for a joke that's not been working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, a devotee of God. Yeah. Yeah. And but like, do you know the difference between devotee and devoted? It's like one step further. It's like, oh, it's like hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Like you work in the church or whatever. It's basically like, you know, like I'm born and gods are like, we'll take this one. Nice. This is our bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we're both God's bitches, basically. Yeah, we are. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, cheer. Look at us. Children of God here. Children of God. <laughs> Far from it. Yeah, yeah. But um, do you believe in religion? Are you religious? So I like... I think there's like something I my mom was Muslim my dad was Lutheran and we kind of were raised with both religions which I think is really cool mm -hmm. um and I went to the mosque I've been to church but like I don't know I don't I don't know do you know what I mean like but then I'm afraid if I say no and yeah. then I'm like gonna get like cast down I don't know I think there's something though right yeah there's something well I think uh like Lutheran is what like a stem off Christianity yeah or it's like, like a that. cool Lutherans are so cool my dad's church was so cool they had like a live band they had a coffee shop definitely me being like this is how you get into a cult so like they're like, <laughs> like, Larry went, like it's so cool um but they were really chill versus like no offense to hardcore Catholics, but like hardcore Catholic, I could never. Why is that? I they don't like, know anything. Oh my god, have you never? Have you been to like a Catholic wedding ceremony? I feel like I, I've had like some of my cousins marry like white dudes, and we've okay. had like those hybrid weddings. Okay, okay, yeah. But like, I don't necessarily like they know. ride in on an Indian, and they're not, yeah. they're riding on an Indian on an <laughs> elephant, <laughs> and then slide well, off. Well, it'll be like at like four o'clock, they'll change into like a white gown and a suit, and then they'll do like the. Normal oh, okay. White people yeah, ceremony. whitewash. Yeah. yeah, they'll do that ceremony within like 45 minutes, you know, pack it up and let's go, you know? Nick Jonas did it with his uh, Priyanka Chopra. Yeah. They did like a, a white wedding and then they did a brown wedding. It's very cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just, the Indian wedding is like fucking too, too long, you know? Oh, yeah. You got to take PTO days you and fucking, shit. There's dance moves, <laughs> there's cutscene. You're like, I went to one once and I was like, what? First thing is, actually, I will say it was very fun, but yeah, very long. Uh -huh. They didn't serve booze, mm -mm. no booze. 
What I feel like that's half the wedding. <laughs> um, and then um, all the food was very spicy, very mm, spicy yeah. food. Uh, but there's like set 10 dance routines. Uh-huh. It's like different choreographed and then the bride and groom they sit on like a little chapel up top and then you go up to them like little beggars and then you take your pictures one by one and you're like bowing down to them you're like what the fuck is happening <laughs> um, little beggars i love that <laughs> um but anyways uh so like catholic ceremonies are just like an hour and a half like you have basically an entire mass they do an entire mass and you also get married so it ends up being a whole ch- church day and a wedding so it's very long and Damn. boring so yeah, I don't know why we went down that route. We no, did, yeah. No, Religion. that's that's exciting. Uh, yeah. No, because like you know, I I uh, I had last Friday. I broke up with my girlfriend, right? <gasps> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay. It happens. After a year, I realized, you know, this one's not gonna work. Yeah. I had, I had one of my friends call me a time thief, and that really really made me feel some type of way a time <laughs> oh because like you took time away from her yeah i don't think so i think i've now learned i'm in my like i'm 34 now mm-hmm. i feel like from all my relationships it's like it shapes who you are it shapes the person you end up being within the long term it shapes what you want so also like you wouldn't know it wasn't gonna work out unless you tried it exactly. like do you know what i mean like yeah. i feel like i get it in the moment you're like pissed but then you're like no i'm glad it happened mm. like she got that brown dick good for her yeah you know? i know that's what i was saying but you're like, not a time thief. <laughs> yeah that's i was like as soon as my one friend called me a time thief i was like all right gotta break up with this girl oh no <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> oh so he said you were a time thief because why you just knew well yeah like i kind of like it was actually one of like my girlfriends like like a friend like yes my, yes a yeah. girl that's a friend yeah she was all like oh like you're not gonna marry this girl and you're still dating her like you're a time te- thief <laughs> and i was like oh oh shit <laughs> More so, I kind of agree with her, but I wouldn't say time thief. I would be like, do you really want, you like love this girl, you care about her, do you really want, she thinks that you guys are eventually going to get married, yeah. do you really want to keep going down this route and hurt her? Yeah, that's what it kind of, that's what my mind took. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I was like, oh no. So then I broke up with her, but now I'm on these dating apps for the first time in such a long time. That's pretty quick after a week of breaking up. Yeah, well, I'm like, you know, like I, like, I just was like, let's see what's, I've always wanted to get back on the dating apps. Oh uh, my God, dating apps are, they're fun, but then they're also <laughs> trash. Oh, it rem- but it's fun to fuck around on. Yeah, yeah. Well, dating apps remind me how ugly I am. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, I, I was in a s- seven year relationship before this one and I was like, for, so eight years, no dating apps really getting my self-esteem up there mm-hmm. and now i'm like i downloaded 10 dating apps can and i oh, see one of your profiles <laughs> oh yeah, yeah for oh sure. my god this is very fun <laughs> <laughs> this is okay so i the whole religion thing is why i brought up this one okay all right. <laughs> uh, so i wait so i'm not really religious i would say are you no no okay, no no all right so i joined this one dating app called upward which is a fucking christian dating <laughs> what oh uh, let me see if i get to the profile yeah um okay so this is my profile but um Oh, the, can I show? This yeah. is stone cold right there. I like that. Yeah. Smooth. You're I'm like, like trying um, to be in your feels. You wrote Methodist. On there. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. So like, I, there's I, angel wings. I identify as a Methodist on this app. <laughs> I am a Methodist who is seeking a Methodist woman. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. No, these pictures are. Oh, these pictures are great. Oh, thank you. They're all. First thing is women. Uh, men. <laughs> people took all of these pictures it's yeah. not just selfies or creepy mirror <laughs> shots all right big plus oh look at you do stand up yeah. he's outdoorsy mm-hmm. he rides a motorcycle uh-huh. he shoots guns <laughs> <laughs> facebook picked that one for what me. a chaotic methodist you are and there's it nothing else about you just that you're a brown <laughs> methodist that's how it's gotta be you know i don't even know really what a method is is i kind of i don't like, know either <laughs> what? i kind of like that name method like you know you know the method like i'm the guy that knows the method <laughs> i was gonna go the other route like being like yeah i used to do math that's why i went i chose that one i found god through methodist oh that's nice too i'm gonna use that when next time i match with a chick match with a chick say that just fuck around on that app that seems fun i kind of do like uh like it's like every girl i match with though i feel bad like i'm like i have to tell them like I'm not actually Christian, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, their profiles are so hype on Jesus. Like, <laughs> Jesus is the one. We have to have a relationship, you, I, and God. You know what I mean? Why are you on this app, then? <laughs> I kind of just typed in, like, dating apps, and I was like, I just downloaded Down, down, download, yeah. download. Okay. Can yeah. I see your Tinder? Uh, so, Tinder is my favorite one. Can I see it? And I haven't downloaded it okay. yet, because I'm waiting... It's... 
So I, yeah, well, I'm waiting until I strike out on the rest of them, and okay. then I'm downloading Hinge and Tinder. Okay, those all are, right. Those are like my do you big Bumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss your Bumble. Oh yeah, Bumble is really bad for Bumble me. Bumble is because girl. <laughs> oh, is that how you're like? Because girls have to swipe on you, and that's how you know you're ugly when you're like, oh, I got one match, <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Well, I know I'm ugly because all the data from. I just want to see like your prompts and stuff. Like I want to read what you wrote yeah, about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what I care about. All the, the Methodist one was just. <laughs> oh, same pictures. Yeah, Love it. I only have like four or five pictures. Engineer by day, comedian by night. Ooh, what's Nar Pow? That's like uh, snowboarding, like Nar Pow. Oh, uh, cool. Look at you. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Wait, is that, what's the, Gujarati? That's how, what, that's, that's what That's the Indian? language of the Patels, Gujarati. Gujarati? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, I was like, you all don't just speak Indian. Um <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you love kindness and humor. Yeah. How generic of you. Thank you. This is, there's no info. Okay, again, <laughs> Matt, you want to have a good fucking profile? Put more details in here. This is the most generic <laughs> pot thing ever. Like, I got nothing out of it. Well, don't you see that I, I have a... You're very smoldery in that picture, though. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm you try look like a tough, sexy beat people up you drive car you're like a brown paul walker you know i'm trying i'm yeah. really trying that was that, the vibe in that picture yeah because that's you'll never really get that vibe out of me in real life you <laughs> i was know? gonna say <laughs> you need to not give off um deceased paul walker in fast and furious vibes right now i don't know what i don't know what you do give off yeah I, yeah i don't know like uh i was literally talking to one of my coworkers about this and she was like uh She's like, what? Are, like, what do you like to do? <laughs> She's like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what do you? Well, you, you just said snowboarding. That's about you it. You work out, that, but I don't consider like working out like a um a hobby. You know what I mean? I but like I kind of do now because I like love it so mm. much. Like I love lifting. Yeah, I like going. I've been like, I've been trying to go twice a day, and I like love it two a days yeah oh my I'm god trying girl, to you crazy? trying to get st well because i i lost a ton of weight and then i gained a little bit of uh -huh. it back and i feel like i'm fat again which is like very sad yeah. so i'm trying to be like all right we're just gonna get strong mm -hmm. so i've just been like going ham at the gym and yeah. I, I love it though well first of all you're not fat thank you so much you're welcome well just a little, little bit i'm like well <laughs> by society standards i'm like still plus size yeah. which is like crazy well this society has a unrealistic standard you know they really I mean? do i also downloaded this one app called <laughs> called Woo Plus, which is for uh, bigger girls. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't mind a big girl. Like, I, I love all women. And uh, there are nice. some girls on that app that are, like, skinny. And I'm like, it's a shame that society has made you think that you're big. Right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. get out of here. But you're also like, get in my pants. <laughs> you know? Get on Bumble. This is not the <laughs> app for you. You know what I mean? This is for the big girls. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I want 300 plus, 250 plus. I mean, I was over 300 pounds at one point, but yeah, yeah, no. Well, uh, I, I wanted to talk about that a little bit later, but I guess since no, we're we already can't, here. No, we, we don't have to talk about it. We can still talk about your dating life. No, 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 no. It's already... we. You see, fucking big girls. Uh, well, we already know how much of a shit show my dating life is. You know what I mean? Uh, it's pretty bad. But like, all right, so how much pounds did you lose all, all in one? Okay, so in a year, I lost... In a year, I lost 130, and then I lost another 20, 25 on top of that over the like a course of like another year you oh know what i mean my God. yeah i know right that's a lot and what kind of like uh what kind of stemmed this like what what was like your um fucking your driver because that's like a lot of like a yeah. motivation time effort energy i think it was just like it's true for people who ever get like this heavy too it's like i got like out of breath walking up a flight of stairs mm. i needed to use a seatbelt extender at the airport like oh. that's embarrassing okay. like i couldn't fit in my like my boyfriend at my, like my high school boyfriend had like a car and like it had like a special seatbelt i couldn't fit the seatbelt oh. so i was just like and then i remember i saw a picture and i was like oh my god i like I was huge. Mm -hmm. Like I was the same. Bobby Kelly was the same way. I was the same way as Bobby Kelly. Me and Bobby Kelly share something. Shout um, out Bobby Kelly. I love you, Bobby. Um, and uh, and it's it's actually the same weight as a refrigerator. Also, same weight as a baby elephant. So it, and like I didn't. You don't really realize that until you look back and you're like, holy shit, I was huge. Were you? Googling all the things that were like the same weight as me. Oh yeah, after the weight, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, after I lost <laughs> okay. the weight, I was like, oh, not presently. I wasn't like weeping, <laughs> okay. eating Twinkies, being like, I'm an elephant. <laughs> no, I did it after the fact. Because okay. like people on like weight loss, because I used to have like a weight loss Instagram, and like people a lot of the times like would post like when you hit a milestone, like you lost 20 pounds, you're 30 mm -hmm. pounds, and a lot of times like you can actually Google like what weighs 30 pounds, and they like have like templates, and it's like this weighs 30 pounds, and then people will post like I lost. 
a small toddler. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like oh, stuff God. like that. Like I lost, uh, you know, microwave. Yeah. No, stuff like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, people would post. And then I, I remember I like looked it up after and I was like, I was a baby elephant. That's at one funny. Point. Like appliances and shit. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I was the refrigerator, you know, like now I'm just like the mini size fridge. Oh, yeah, that's so house, funny. You know? So when you're starting, like, uh, what, what is like your go to like a uh, dinner meal? Like, cause like, you know, like one of the things with like with weight loss is yet like, uh, yes. weight loss is made in the kitchen yes really it know? really is yeah, it's like, diet is super important because i tell people i'm like you can walk every single day mm -hmm. and lose weight if you are eating healthy and monitoring yeah. I pro anyways if i when i was dieting and eating healthy i literally just ate like burger salads taco salads mm. um burgers with no bun and just veggies on the side like just meat and veggies that's like all you eat yeah. and people should people know that too like you know yeah what I mean? they do they do they just don't want to <laughs> and or do you have a sweet tooth Oh my god, I love sweets. Yeah. I'm upset. I will talk about sweets all day, any day. Same. We do the whole podcast talking about sweets. I have a sweet too. I love sweets so much. <laughs> it's so, like a disease. What's your like favorite sweet that when you were doing all this dieting that you were like you had to like cut out, but you were like, this is oh I miss this. Um, creme brulee. That's a French pastry. Yeah, creme brulee, which is like custard and then whatever. But I, I, I like for real, like a, something I could easily get. Yeah. Probably like chocolate chip cookies. I love cookies. Oh, I love cookies. I love croissants. Oh. I love just like treats. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I would rather a cookie or like a cupcake. Oh, oh cupcake. Oh, yeah, a cupcakes cupcake. Are good, yeah. Yeah, like red frosting. velvet cupcake. Red velvet is my favorite. Red yeah. diehard. I just like got excited. I was like, <laughs> I love red. I, that's my favorite. Yeah, I love red velvet cupcakes. I was like, I felt tricked when I found out red velvet was is just chocolate. Like <laughs> I know. I thought it was a flavor. What the fuck? <laughs> just chocolate with food coloring. It's like, and then like, and then you're like, am I going crazy? Yeah. Do I not know what chocolate tastes like? Like what? I felt like so ashamed. Like. Maybe that's what I need, just a little bit of food coloring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, Makes wait, you better? Yeah. Wait, back to the cookies. What's your like um what's your favorite brand of cookie? Favorite brand? Yeah, yeah. Like you're gonna go to Target and get some fucking cookies? I would never. Oh, oh, Jesus. You yeah, gotta... I'm not a chips ahoy girl. Oh god. I'm oh, a, no. I'm like a, I'm a Oh no no. No, but if I would no, see, if I would to do that, if I was going to a grocery store, I would buy the Pillsbury bake your own cookies and bake them. Oh, I used to get the tub of Nestle Toll House and then you scoop it. A woman and then of class. Me and my ex, we used to always like get super high and then we would just like get the thing and then you just make like four cookies each and then you'd eat four cookies. Oh, yeah, wow. it's so good. Ugh. So yeah, yeah, I, I bake my. I need something baked. I can't do. You like them warm. Yeah. Yeah. Warm if, if I was soft. to pick a grocery store cookie, I think I would go Oreo. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, no I, I got you. Oreo is a nice one. What would you go with? Well, sorry, I shamed you for liking <laughs> Chips Ahoy. No, because I love Chips Ahoy. Was it the Milano? No, I love a Milano. Chips I haven't had one in a while. Chips Ahoy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it actually was exactly what you said. Yeah, like Chips Ahoy is like my favorite like chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Um, like, because uh, over the pandemic, like, you know, we were all at home. Yes. And uh, so every night I would eat a family sized pack of Chips Ahoy cookie and with like a mug of milk. Jesus Christ. Every night for like nine months. How are you so skinny? Well, that's the thing. I worked out really hard. So I was like swimming, lifting, running, like literally. And then just eating an entire tray of like chocolate chocolate cookies. Just, nice. Yeah, this is nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. But yeah. Like, Oreos I love too, but yeah. I had to keep them in a separate category because they're a different type of cookie. Oh, know? I actually completely <laughs> understand and agree with you. So I understand, but I only said Oreos because I had to pick a grocery store cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've had a Chips Ahoy in forever. Oh, like, do you know what I mean? You're missing now. All right. You're missing you have some right now? I don't. So okay. what I've been using right now since I've been uh, trying to, you know, now that I'm single, Not be I'm trying yeah. to get my abs back or just for once in my life have abs. Yes. You know what no, I, mean? I, under I do understand. I want to be old and be able to be like, back when I had abs. You were like jacked. Yeah. Well, something. There's like, I want to be able to tell like young kids, like, you know, like I might be fat now, but I had abs one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I was sexy, but um, I use this uh, fucking... Um, uh, Ghost Protein Chips Ahoy. I don't know why I pointed over there. It's like in, it's, no, I see it. Oh yeah, there's one on the fridge yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that one tastes exactly like Chips Ahoy and has little Chips Ahoy's in it. Do you do it with just milk? Uh, water. Ew! You don't do almond milk at least. I'm allergic to tree nuts. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, you need no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, if you're allergic to tree nuts. Go get the um. Have you had the um the milk that has protein in it? Do you know the one that everyone's obsessed with that makes they make ice cream with it and whatever? No. You have to get it. We got to figure out what it is. I, know, I can't remember right now what the brand is, but I'll remember yeah. what the brand is. I want to like look it up on my phone. Muscle right milk? Now. No. No, no, no. It's, they sell it at the grocery store. Okay. 
You've never had it? I haven't. I don't know the name of it because <laughs> I can't remember. Let me see if I can Google it real quick. I can Google Milk it. Milk with protein. They're going to sponsor us now. I hope so. No, it's so fair life milk. Oh, f- fair life. Fair life chocolate chip milk is the best thing in the entire world. I fucking am obsessed with it. Now, Have you had fair life milk? No, that's no, I haven't. I don't really try. I'm really trying to cut dairy out of my life. Okay. But I will say the fair life milk with the protein powder. Uh, oof, so good. Yeah, I can't believe you don't use milk. Mm, yeah, I'm really trying to cut dairy out, but I can't because I'm the dairy prince. You, know you love I mean? cheese. Uh, cheese, yeah, mozzarella sticks, like fuck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you're like a child. You're like, uh, yeah, bitch, I need mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Stat. Yeah. Um, I'm a big pizza girl. I don't think I, I love pizza. Yeah, pizza. That's like very yummy. But you know, like pizza's a tough one. You're because, like tostina rolls. Yeah. T- uh, no, nah, I just like you're pizza. classier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, but pizza is like you know, like all these celebrities are talking about like pizza and shit which means like touching kids and i don't like that how kids have ruined pizza wait what yeah like that's like a code name in like no it's not yeah, what it's like uh when they talk about like i've never heard of this it's like a big conspiracy like they'll always be like uh like big celebrities will always be like yeah and then we came back and had pizza or there was pizza on epstein's plane wait what yeah really mm, this you're is like a- traumatizing me um, now now I i'm gonna be upset when my sister mentions <laughs> pizza and the kids. And like, oh god what yeah i apologize but uh this is it is a uh, factual no i'm running through my mimosa quick <laughs> sorry we can do another one yeah no i know yeah but like yeah pizza okay. you can't have but um yeah, I'm trying to cut out dairy, but I can't because it's I, hard. I love dairy. I did um, a couple months ago. I did Whole Thirty for a month, where yeah. it's where you literally just eat fruits, vegetables, and meat. You cut out no dairy, um, and it was it wasn't too bad. Uh. It was it was doable, but I don't think I could do it like long term either. I love cheese. Yeah, cheese. Well, I think that's like the thing. And cream about- in my coffee. I love cream in my coffee. Dude, that's the bane of my existence. I could I. Can't- Black coffee? Oh god! Uh, unless unless you're in like Europe, Europe has like really good coffee. Do they? But like you can go to Wawa and get like a crappy cheap coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I like uh, I usually drink my coffee black because that's how I like my women. That's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but his ex girlfriend is like, you broke up with me because I'm white <laughs> and half Asian. <laughs> 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 nice yeah she's not there's no black in her though okay. <laughs> i had to get rid of you babe right. <laughs> uh but um oh shit where was i going with that no dairy want abs hardcore working out i don't know but like you took a note yeah i did that was for fair life though oh yeah fair uh, life. did you i might be wrong about this but fair life like abuses the shit out of their cow. no they don't <laughs> I'm fighting so much about on this podcast. Pizza, Fair Life. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll look it up later. Yeah, like, Don't upset me. I'm like, I, I love apologize. the chocolate milk. I apologize. But like, uh, but you know, that's the thing about like animal industry and the cows and the chickens. It's all like, it's a, it's a, it's a tough one because we don't want to abuse these animals. Yeah. But we also want the goods that they provide. Right. So, we do. Mm, 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 but, but then you just pay more. But then I'm always like, because I shop sometimes at like Whole Foods and all those stores, yeah. and then they say like they were raised in like a nice, you know, open pasture, and I'm like, prove it. Like yeah. you have video cameras. Like how do you, you know what I mean? How are you supposed to believe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. They need to have a god. Like their social media team needs to have a TikToker <laughs> out there. <laughs> right. Yeah. I need a TikTok of my animals I'm eating. A lot. Live stream 24 7. I need to see what Betty the cow is up to. I want to know what she's doing, yeah. what she's hang. Wh- what did she do today? Exactly. She's dying tomorrow. <laughs> let's, let's see her last living <laughs> no. day. Like, let's live it up. Yeah. They yeah. should throw parties for them. I, they die. I agree. Like, uh, I follow like a lot of farm um, accounts on TikTok. It's cool. Yeah. That's cute. I, I just, I don't know. Like, it's just uh, somewhere. Uh, like, I, I like animal videos, and the best videos are like, happy cows on ha- like farms they're the best because they're like big dogs yes and then like somewhere down the line fair life snuck in there and i was like we're being the shit out of this little cow. stop <laughs> telling me about fair life no <laughs> but i could be wrong it could be another cow know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like right fair fair life it means they have a fair life oh, yeah they're, they're they're saying it's like f- I've been watching too much. I don't know. Do you like horror movies? I'm chaotic. I will jump all over the place. Uh, no, that's good. The Bobcast is one big rabbit hole. Okay. Um, but um, I'm scared. I'm a big pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. 
<laughs> um, pussy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love horror movies. I'm a big horror movie okay. person. And I don't know why. It's because we said Fair Life. Uh-huh. I went down this rabbit. I love all the Saw movies. Mm-hmm. I like the concepts of them. Or yeah, yeah, they're good. I, I seen like the first so one. So then I just was like thinking about them doing Saw, but with <laughs> animals. <laughs> oh, no. That's so fun. You're either going to die and become hamburger meat or like, I don't know. Like, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Um, but yeah, I was watching that this morning. But yeah. Uh, Wait, anyways, you're watching that this morning? I was watching Jigsaw. So I've been binging all of the saws. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then there's the 3D one. Then there's Jigsaw, mm. which has Chris Rock in it. Oh, I didn't it know was, that. It was fine. Yeah. Um, I didn't finish it. But anyways, this is my second time watching it. Because there's the new Saw movie coming out next weekend. And so oh. I wanted to binge them all before the last Saw movie. Oh, I no, see. Yeah, you're like, I don't care. Uh, no, no, I do care. I just want the audience to know that we're filming this uh, before noon even. So she's oh, I was like, I watched a horror movie. Oh, my God. I lo- I'll wake up in the morning and just watch a horror movie. It's yeah. totally normal. That's why. I, that's like, the most concerning part about it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to like, if like uh, someone's like, uh, like my ex was like, we're going to go to Haunted House, right? Like yeah. I hated that shit. But like for her, I was like, for a little bit of pussy, I can do this. Okay. And uh, I, But the whole day I was like, oh, we're going to see some scary shit. We're going to see some... <laughs> And like here you are, you wake up, boop, and you're like, oh yeah, let's see some scary shit now. Love, yeah, right. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I I guess there's something wrong with me. No, no, no. That's just your preference. That's your preference. <laughs> what do you watch when you wake up? Uh, usually I watch uh, myself. Like I put out content. Okay. You know? <laughs> I don't. Really... You just doom scroll your own Instagram reels. You're like, God damn, this guy's funny. <laughs> well, I'll be like, this is funny. Why does it only have two views? <laughs> Oh, that's the worst when you were like, guys, this is so funny. And it has like 400 views by like three weeks later. You're like, all right. No, no, you're funny. I know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I try. Like, um, I'm trying to put out like mad content before I like start dropping these new episodes. Yes. And like, so yesterday I realized I was behind on TikTok. So I put like 20 videos up. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. And I like. Do you clip them all yourself? Yeah. I'm the producer, the cr- the, the the guy isn't that a lot of work it is that's this is i you I, capture them too uh so i use a app called captions app and uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's pretty good uh yeah. it gets like uh it the thing is it gets like 97 percent correct and uh the only things i really have to fix are like bavik and bobcast <laughs> okay so it's, it's actually what does it turn it into uh it turns uh bavik into oh it's like such a beautiful spelling it's like uh, B A V I Q U E. Okay, I thought I was gonna write like baguette. Like, oh uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was so. I was like, I was like, oh, like this is like so like, it's, like it's like the black version of my name with a Q in it. You know what I mean? Like that's Spicy. that's hot. And then uh, the Bobcast, it just goes Bobcast. Bobcast. <laughs> I like that. That's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I use an app too, but then it only gets, I think because I talk so fast, it gets like 50% of it right. So then you have to go in and then manually type it and all that stuff. And then I have like three reels in my like queue, but I'm like, I don't want to post them because they're like crowd work and I hate it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Like, do you, I I feel like that's the only type of material you can post right now. I know. I know. It's what the people want. Yeah. And it's, it is what it is. Well, it's also hard to write material that's good and you don't just want to <laughs> shut it's it. hard to be funny guys it <laughs> yeah. really is all right yeah. it's it's tough uh but yeah you don't want to like uh put out your good stuff so you got to put out this crowd work yes, it's some, exactly and, i gotta put out this crowd work where i'm talking about a lady with a lower back tattoo okay oh. guys we're ta- we're taking it we're going with it um what were we talking about before was said horror movies uh, oh the cows yeah the fair life fair life when you fucking devastated me yeah. i can't i can't wait to look that up later Go down what are baby hole. cows called what i don't know I, that was a question <laughs> <laughs> calf what? right Ca- calf. oh yeah little calf yeah yeah they would just take them and chuck them around by like their leg right <laughs> <laughs> i love wait what <laughs> delayed reaction <laughs> i was like oh ha, ha, wait no that's terrible um, i uh i really like this is not off topic what are those hairy cows called with the little horns you know what i'm talking about they have those on instagram too or you know what i mean the little hairy ones i can i i, I know what you're saying and they're almost. so cute yeah like a miniature cow yeah kind of you know what i'm talking about yeah no, no, and I've, they have I've, them on instagram too yeah i've seen the yeah, little horn guys cute. i follow like every cow cow okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know them by species yet. That's what you should put in your dating dating profile. I'm a big cow guy. Big big cow girl. <laughs> hey, there you, maybe you can meet a farmer girl. Oh, dude, so I was talk. Yeah, you know what? That's funny you bring that up because I was like talking to someone and they're like, "Yo, Bob, you know, like the thing is, 
you're a hardworking man. You need a hardworking girl. And I was like, yeah, like so. And he's like, you need to go on like Farmers Only or something, or like whatever that Farmers website. You said you downloaded ten apps. Was Farmers no. Only one of them? No. You downloaded the Christian one over the farming one. I didn't know there was a Farmers. I think there is one. I've seen it. No, no. That now that he brought that up, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, get a hard, you need a hard girl. I need a farm. Well, I come from a family of farmers too. Wait, back really? In, yeah, in India. So like, I, I was like, oh, that is right up my alley. Do you think your true calling is to do that because you like love it so much and you're drawn to it, or you just miss it a little? I I definitely am in drawn to the countryside. Like I like the farther I go towards the middle of PA, the more comfortable I get. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, one day I would like to have some space in a farm and some chickens. You know what I mean? <laughs> this that girl that'll get a girl wet. Go on a date with a girl and be like, "Want a farm with some little chickens?" Girls love little chickens. Hey, oh yeah, I mean, I'm gonna use these lines today. <laughs> Hey, baby, you like chickens? <laughs> I'm trying to get a couple. <laughs> Say it just like that. Um, no, well, that's why I love living in Connecticut, because I have a house, and it's cheaper than this apartment. I believe it. And I have a yard, oh. and I can drive, like, 10 minutes, and I can go kayaking, and I can go for a hike. And, th- like, that's the thing is, though, like, I like I could never live in a city because I'm, like, mm. so – I love being outdoors. I'm oh, outdoorsy. I, agree. I lo- When it's nice out, almost every day after work, I'm doing something mm-hmm. – I try to. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather be outside. Oh, than- yeah. I mean, you know, inside is the bane of my existence. It sucks. Yeah. Like as a colored man, I'm attracted to the outside, like the sun, <laughs> you know, what does that have to do with being a colored man? Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, sometimes you're I, like, you're not outdoorsy unless you have a different race. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're, a, is Iranian the right way to pronounce it? Iranian. Iranian. Yeah. So you have a little bit of like a color in you, but like, I do. Uh, but like, let's say like, well, a, I have it on me too. I'm pretty tan. Yeah, Iranians. but like your pig, like your skin cells are like, we can become really colored if we need to. You know, what I mean, you spend like all summer in the sun, you'll get oh, like, like I get so tan. Yeah, exactly. Middle Eastern dark is my favorite. I feel so hot when I'm tan. Yeah, I'm sure like a, you do too. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. You it's know beautiful. what I mean? And it's like, but like if you're like Irish and you go out there, like the sun literally is your fucking. You death. hate it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like there are some people. So that- our skin was meant to be outdoors, mm-hmm. out in the. F- Field. This is getting. <laughs> it's like it's That's so why the black people were picking cotton. I had to. <laughs> we're out here just working, working. Yeah, yeah It's it, kind of true. Yeah. Now that you said it, it makes sense. We want to be outside. Yeah, it's like it's in our DNA. Just like how, like, uh, when they put elephants in circuses, like when they're chained up, they sway back and forth because in their DNA, they're meant to walk long distances. Yeah. So this is emulating walking. Dude, I went. Do you go to fairs? Uh, do they have fairs around here? They had fairs like in the burbs where I grew up. Did you ever go to? There's a big Allentown fair. I went last year, the year before in mm. PA. Pretty I've never fun. been to that fair. But oh, okay. I feel like every fair is the same in the burbs of Pennsylvania. Yeah, probably. They got to like grab a truck. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the only thing. They got like twisty thing that you're gonna die. Uh, but no, at the Big E. So the Big E is like this big fair mm-hmm. in. It's in Springfield, Massachusetts. It's like half an hour from my house. But anyways, they they. Have have elephant rides it's like so sad it's yeah. literally like the size of this room and they just like walk in a circle and you can see them there. they like don't want to be there so oh, yeah. fuck you big e and your elephants fuck you guys but i did love it it's yeah. great i had I a mean, corn dog it's like uh <laughs> it's crazy like seeing that animal up close in it's, person yeah but it's crazy then you remember they have like real strong family ties so it's like when you take an elephant and like put it by itself it's like it's not good it's uh, really like even more sad yeah yeah oh. I went to like, I, I, so I went to Penn State. And, okay. Um, one year I went back to visit and I was like uh, walking through the campus and I like, remember being like a mile away and I was like, dude, is that a fucking elephant? And I just like saw like the skin texture and I was like, that doesn't match like uh, the lawn. Okay. You know what I mean? And then I get closer. I'm like, that's a fucking elephant. Why was there an elephant on campus? So the Indian organization nice. there was like, you people. I was ashamed of my, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I took a fucking selfie with that elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're like this is for the likes. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, wow, like that elephant had to come here in a fucking long ass ride. You know what I mean? Right. And it was like a mid sized elephant, so it wasn't. It was like an adolescent. <laughs> I wasn't like a full grown. Okay, elephant. Yeah. So it was, was like a teenager. Yeah, like so he was going through. He was like fucking like he's like, what's that thing? The like, elephant like heat. It's not heat, but like their horny stage. They have something musk. 
Maybe they have some type of term for I it. I don't know elephant horny terms. I'm yeah. sorry, but I used to want to be a marine biologist in my youth. So like I knew all these animal things. Really? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that makes sense because you were like outdoorsy. Yeah, no, I love animals, but I'm allergic to them. That's the fucked up part. Really? Yeah. Is that why you only have beta fish? Yeah, they got to stay in these fucking tanks. They're cute, though. Yeah, Nancy's not even looking this. Nancy, pay attention. I know, Nancy. You could be on the podcast right now. <laughs> now nah, she's like, oh, I've already been here before. Why'd you name her Nancy? So the way I name my fishes is just whatever comes to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I put her in this tank and I was like, I was like, hey, Nancy. And then I was like, all right, Nancy. This is her name. <laughs> hey, she moved. And yeah. then wait, what's the other one's name? Uh, Juice. And it was same thing? Yeah, just, I was like, hey, big You're Juice. like, you look like OJ. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you killed your wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was like, hey, big Juice. And then there's Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Sorry to bring up your eyes. We it was animals. No, 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 no. That's totally cool. Yeah. So they brought up this fucking thing, and I was like, "Oh, like as Indian people, you guys should know not to do this. You know, like bring this poor elephant here. You know what right? I mean? It's like I was like, it's very cruel and unusual punishment. And he was so sad too. Sorry, I wanted more mimosa. No, no, guys. you're good. You're good. Just having a good morning. Yeah, this I've always wanted to do a brunch episode, and I'm glad we finally got this. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun, except there's no food. It's just drinking. Yeah, yeah, you know. No, it's fine. No, 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 no. We're on a brunch. diet. Yeah, we're a liquid. <laughs> we're trying to stay thin. So you work out a lot too. Yeah, yeah, I try to. You uh, like to lift? Yeah. I, well, I hate cardio, but I do it. I hate cardio too. For a healthy heart. I don't do cardio at the gym. I have to do it elsewhere. Mm. Like I'll go for a walk. I'll go kayaking. I'll go biking. Yeah. I like. Or I'll do the Stairmaster at the gym. The Stairmaster is a lot of fun. I like to do... My old trainer used to say, try to do a thousand steps under 20 minutes. Mm. So I'll, if it's like, if I've worked out that day, I'll do like 500. You know what I mean? I'll it, just do like half. What, can you do it? Is that possible? Yeah. I've never oh, tried. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never oh my tried. God, do it the next time you go to the gym. Everyone, on, everyone listening, try it. <laughs> try to do a thousand steps under 20 minutes. It's pretty... It's doable. It's not that hard. Mm. It depends on how you do it. Do you want to go the same rate? Do you go fast and then slow down and then fast and do? slow down? I go fast and slow down. Oh, God. You go fast for like a minute and then you go slow for like 30 seconds and then go fast for a minute and then you go slow for a little bit. And then eventually sometimes I'll just... I'll, or like if I'm after a workout, I'll just do the Stairmaster for 10 minutes. I'll just put it on like eight. And you just step for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you... Yeah. Uh, see, I, I don't go to a real gym anymore because okay. like I... Like the, the time, I just don't have it. I was going to say living in a city, it's probably like out of the way and then it's like There's expensive couple, or no? Uh, um, the one I was going to was maybe but like $40 a month. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is like the time just to get there, like it's like a 15 minute run. Uh, but like the thing is, is like, you know, like when you're trying to do like go to work, then do comedy. At oh my God. Time, like you have no time. That 15 minutes is like, I could use that to actually like lift. You do you know? lift here? Yeah. So I just have a gym downstairs. Oh, oh in your building. Yeah. Oh, then and, of course. Yeah. So, but the dumbbells only go up to like 80 pounds. So I feel like, wow, a strong guy over here. Mm. Uh, but so I feel like, you know, like that's, I feel like apartment gyms are meant to keep people small. It's like a planet fitness. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't get big here. Like I, no. I'm going to have to go back to a gym. Wait, oh, so you can press 160? Uh, I can dumbbell bench hundreds. Okay. Yeah. So you're not up to the, the 80 pound ones yet. Oh, like each hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you're so strong. Right you don't here. look that strong. I know. I oh, have this, it's like hidden. I like uh, it's it. It's a sleeper. I think they call it a sleeper build. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, so because I because I lost the weight a lot, like I have like like like, like look at like here, mm -hmm. like this is all loose skin. Yeah. And so my goal is like I'm trying to like fill it out, you mm. know, with muscles. Yeah, with muscles. And I love stuff that. Like that. Thank you. Yeah. But like I like I it, it's so funny because even like when I flex, it looks like I have so much bit people are like you must be so strong and i'm like <laughs> get in there like i mean i i am getting stronger yeah, but i'm yeah. not like i like i can't do that like mm -hmm. that's cool though well this is like years in the making yeah. you know what i mean like i started lifting like maybe like in 11th grade when like i started growing like nice titties because of all the dairy queen i was eating <laughs> and oh so you're just this little indian boy <laughs> skinny probably little twink you're five nine so you're like little and you got these little boobies oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and no one was calling you by your name. Uh, well, I had this girlfriend at the time, Katie, and we were like at her house, like making out on her couch, her dad's couch. Did she touch your boob? <laughs> yeah. And she was like, oh, your titty is just as big as my titty. Ah! 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, God, I got to get in the gym today. <laughs> and I left. And I was like, you just went straight to the fucking YMCA. Right? <laughs> God, your titty is the same size as my titty. But Ooh. it was like such a, I, like, you know. like That I was know. your wake up call. Yeah, it was like, she, it was so harmless. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, she didn't mean she, anything by yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, she was just getting these little titties, too. So I was like. It was you like, both were coming <laughs> into yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, no. I, was like, I got to fucking go do some lifts. Nice. Yeah, that was a crazy moment in my life. But yeah, I've been uh, doing that. Now and, you can uh, bench two hundred. Look at you. Oh, uh, oh, just on dumbbells. The, the just bar, a, uh, bar yeah. is different. Yeah. yeah, the bar. I don't really do bar because like, I feel like I have like these like long arm. So sometimes I want to get the full range of motion. Yeah. You know, like all the little muscles in your shoulders yes. and everything. I so understand. I'm not a big like barbell guy because I I just. I'm I can des- I can definitely press more with dumbbells than I can with the bar. Yeah. The bar also, since I'm a girl, like, cause I'm like, the bar itself weighs 45 mm-hmm. pounds. So then you just, you add your little 10 pounds, you add your little five, like, yeah. it looks so dwinky. <laughs> next to these guys being like, yeah. you know? Yeah, but you don't have to compare yourself to I that. Know, I you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I actually like going to gyms with people that are bigger than me. It kind of like. Yeah, it makes you want it. Like, I'm like, oh, I, love, I like love, like, I like watching them work out because it's like goals. I'm like, oh, I'm going to yeah. be as strong as you especially like women too some like ripped women in the gym i'm like damn like mm. you're I, i'm a big sh- i love shoulders now i'm yeah. a big shoulders girl i really want like rounded sculpt shoulders which i'm getting yeah, yeah. I, like i can feel it i'm starting to get the bump and mm. i'm so into it but my weird thing is i'm into people's shoulders yeah. now i'm like let me look at your shoulders right you want to check them out you want me to yeah yeah lift up your shirt oh, oh you are ripped yeah. look at that <laughs> You can't get it. It's so sure, strong. Oh sure my god! Look at tight. my my shoulder. All right, this is me just pimping you out. All right, you, you should put a picture of your shoulder on. Yeah, why don't you put a like a lifting picture? You like to work out. Uh, I feel like I want to like if if you're lucky enough to get to that point, yeah, you know, where I have to take my shirt off, you're yeah. gonna be excited. You know? Gotta, oh, you want them to? I gotta be... yeah, I gotta say some goods. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, that's um, good. Yeah, yeah. My like, that ex I just broke up with always used to fucking roast me for my shoulders. She's like, your shoulders are so small. And I was like, when we broke up, I was like, I'm the biggest fucking shoulders. No bitch is ever going to tell me I have small shoulders again. That's like the <laughs> more, most random diss ever. Yeah, your shoulders are small, bro. <laughs> I was it's like saying to a girl like you have bad knees like what <laughs> what is that even what's going on uh, for the next year i was like oh god shoulders <laughs> but now you you're crisp you're crisp as fuck i'm trying and by the time i see you again i'm just gonna have these giant like football pads up me here. too we're and gonna be jacked little arms huge football <laughs> pads it looks like a tumor or something yeah, yeah yeah do you wear um there's guys uh, i don't know if you have that at your gym there's guys that wear like cut off tees like you know like that do you understand why they do that oh like belly shirts yeah to be honest i don't get all i think we should just work out in sweatpants big shirts yeah things that help you fucking sweat you know mm-hmm. when you're out there and you got like your cooter out or your one nutsack hanging out of your fucking <laughs> shorts all this shit is getting on the machine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to see too that. much. Yeah. I don't want to see. No, that. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I, I usually just do like leggings and a sports bra. Usually my go-to. Although there's always girls in the gym. They always look so hot. They're yeah. wearing their cute little outfits. They're wearing the, the leggings that have their butt. This is why you need to go back to the gym. Apparently, they have a little butt <laughs> crimp thing. You know. You see, the thing is, I like to work out high, right? And uh, wait, you work out high? Yeah, like I like rip you up. lift high. Mm-hmm. See, you've done that a handful of times, and I think lifting high, I can definitely do. I can't do cardio high. Yeah, I cannot. Cardio, I can do high because I just like get into like this zone in my brain. Okay, where I'm just like, uh, it's just, it's just like, it's like, uh, all right, we're here, and I'm not even thinking about my body. Yeah, it's just going. I got you. See, for me, I'm very aware of my like legs. Like I've tried going for a run high, and I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. But lifting high is actually pretty fun. But yeah, I, it is. I don't do that. But and I, cool. yeah, like the lift is like so much slower and more. You know what I mean? Oh, you feel it. Yeah. Uh, do you take pre-workout? Uh, so I, I used to. I've, I haven't been on pre-workout now maybe like for three months. Uh-huh. My last one I was taking was called Psychotic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's like... um. <clears throat> Did it make you psychotic? Oh, yeah. The first time I... Like, so I'm a big pre-workout junkie. Amphetamines, all that shit. You know, I love that. Uppers. Um, <laughs> fucking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, so C4, I was taking for like a long time. What's since C4? It's like another pre-workout, but it's like, um, it's like entry level generic. If you ask a lot of big bodybuilders, they'll tell you it's trash. It's really just for like, you know, entry level people. Like, okay. Like Kevin, you and me. Yeah. Like Kevin Hart sponsors C4. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
And then, so I've been using it, and I got up to like three scoops, like every time. Oh, that's a lot. I that's, feel like. Yeah, it's a lot. It's too much. And then I had like a bodybuilder on. He was like, uh, "Psychotic is what you want to use." But he was like, "Only." He's like, "You only use half a scoop." And I was like, "All right." To you. <laughs> yeah. So I got it. I used half a scoop, and I lifted for like four hours that day. We really hard. Psychotic. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go get that. Yeah, it's good. But just a warning. Okay. Uh, I don't know. For me, every time I take a half scoop. I would have to a lot for like 45 minutes where I could just have diarrhea before I go to the gym. Uh, it's like take psychotic, have 45 minutes just to have maybe like take three or four shits. I'm not just like even one shit. Like you get up. Oh, I got to shit again. Oh, God, I got to shit again. <laughs> and then you're like, you already feel like you've done so much abs already like shitting. <laughs> How long did you take this pre-workout for? Uh, I took it for like uh, I started filming this podcast last March. So like almost close to a. A year. Wow, you must have a cl very cleansed colon. I don't know if it's cleansed or just uh, like hurt. You know <laughs> what I mean? I don't think you should be like shitting that frequently within 45 minutes. You know what I mean? It's really funny. People ask me like advice or like ask me sometimes like what do you do? And I'm like, I like follow what other people tell me and I really <laughs> should just do my research. You know what I mean though? Like I yeah. blindly when someone says, oh, try this. And I'm like, okay. Like, so, but it works though. Like I use PE science. They have a work pre-workout mm. and then they have this other thing and it's like called like pump. Yeah. And I don't even know what's in it, yeah. but I take it and I feel like I'm pumped up. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's like, I feel like I get a better lift with it, but there's oh, yeah. probably all sorts of shit in it, but I have no idea. Probably caffeine, some B12, some... I don't uh, nitric uh, acid. I'll, I'll poop sometimes. Yeah. Everyone knows that I poop, but not not forty five minutes diarrhea. Yeah, I don't. I think it's just something with me and like that over caffeine, and it just really kills me. Oh. And then I just have to like, you know, if that's why I got to stop taking pre workouts. Like, uh, so now I, you don't do it. Yeah, now I just like fucking smoke a bong and go. smoke a bong <laughs> onto the basement. <laughs> yeah. Nice, I'm into that. Yeah, hell yeah. Sometimes I'll smoke a bong and swim. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds great, though. I love when I go kayaking, I'll, like, bring a joint there, too. Smoking a joint and then just kayaking, and you feel the water, uh -huh. and you're just, you know what I mean? Like, it's just the best. Yeah, I actually get, like, pretty jealous. Like, you're always, like, at the beach or kayaking, and I'm, like, I know. always on the water, this bitch. I'm a water, <laughs> I'm a water bitch. I was born in August. I'm a summer queen. I love going to the, well, there's a beach, like, 45 minutes away from my house, and it's free. Yeah. So I'll go down there. Um, it has my favorite bakery, Sift. Shout out Sift. I love Sift. I like, I like want them to sponsor me. I like asked them to do a show at their venue, and they were like, absolutely not. Like, they're like, we're not having your filthy trash at our stained uh, bakery. They didn't say that. They nicely on Instagram were like, no, not right now. Yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, no, I love going to the beach. But then um, kayaking, I bought one of those. This is this is a, you should this is a everyone should listen to this you need to get one of these uh -huh. two an inflatable kayak i have one mm -hmm. i bought it for a hundred dollars off amazon i've had it for now two full seasons literally buy one of those car charger plugs you can you can have it in your do you have a car i do yes yeah you can leave it in your car uh -huh. have it in your car you don't need any storage for it. it comes in a bag and you literally take it out you inflate it and then you can just go kayaking anywhere oh. like you could go you know what i mean like you could go 20 minutes outside of the city and go kayaking like I'm, what i'm telling you is yeah. you should do everyone should do it so that's my favorite thing because it's like quick you can do it by yourself like you don't need someone else to help you with the kayak mm -hmm. load the kayak unload the kayak so like anytime i'm kayaking it's like i got out of work i got an hour i'm just gonna go take it out for 40 minutes you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. so highly recommend do you have a brand that you use um the 99 dollar one from amazon so <laughs> love that shout out amazon it's like yeah no because like it's like the first one in amazon when you look up like inflatable kayak and it was it's like blue and gray and green and it's it was like 100 bucks uh -huh. and i'm obsessed with it like it's my favorite one of my favorite things i've purchased does I've it used come it. with a paddle yeah it comes with everything oh fuck i yeah. bought like because the paddle is like plastics so you can buy like i bought like handles for like ten dollars uh -huh. you know what i mean and put handles like you know like grips yeah, yeah, yeah um because my hands got blisters a little bit mm. after a while but other than that it's it's also like comfortable because it's like inflatable so like i'll put my legs around into the water yeah. and it's like not and like hard plastic your, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's actually luxury it's very luxury it's very great i'll probably eventually get like a, i don't even know if i would get a hard kayak because I, I love mine this sounds pleasant you it's I mean? you should get one i'm about to and then i'll come out here and we'll go kayaking yeah, together. yeah i'm about to that and i'm about to start golfing 
Have you gone golfing? I've gone like to a, like a like a one of those mini putt putt things. Like okay, that's not golfing. Like a par three. It's like oh, a, okay. It's like a course, but it's like I don't know. Par, it's like par nine, I think. Yeah. What? I don't or, even no, know. it's like nine holes. I'm not even using the right words. Your so words. <laughs> golf people. Are, I don't know how many golf <laughs> listeners you have, but they're probably like suicidal right yeah. now. And they're like these brown people. What the fuck are they talking about? I'm talking about like it's like a it's like a, a golf course, but it's a little smaller. I know exactly yeah, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. I've done that with my friends before. Yeah, I've done it's that. fun. Yeah, that's great. Oh, but you want real golf? I want to just get drunk and drive the cart same that's where i vibe so i went with so what you can do is because i went with my coworkers, uh-huh. and it was actually super fun because they helped me like how to swing and stuff and i borrowed their clubs but then what you do is if you go with your friends everyone goes and then you just pick the ball that got closest to the hole yeah. and then everyone just shoots from there so then you pick up your balls on the way and then like you know what i mean We've done like that, that before. I feel like that's cheating a little bit. It is. But yeah. it's more like, but no, no, no. But that's the way you can do it, and everyone plays and has fun, and you get drunk. That's right, how right. I have played yeah, with my coworkers because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I am not. It'll take us fifty shots. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's just a suggestion for a beginner. Yeah, yeah no, I like that. I, like I can't that. cross my legs like this because you can see my pussy. So I'm just oh. like, just... hey, I want some donations because of that. Okay. <laughs> Would you like this blanket? We could put that over you. No, because then I then I would look like weird, like this lady with a blanket. Okay. I don't know. Should we? I, I don't, don't know. No, no it's no, fine. No, it's, uh, we, I get the a, toes. Get I the just legs. Blur it over You're there. Right. Just a constant. <laughs> <laughs> just a black. Oh my god! Do a black box. Anytime I move my legs, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> just like I'll get like a picture of like a real cat just going. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrifying. I'm sorry. Yeah, too far. Too far. <laughs> Sometimes I've been told I don't know where the line is, and you know, like Wait, with people or with pussies. With let's with people. Let's hopefully <laughs> first. You're like uh, when I sexually assault women, they always tell me there's a line. Um, all right, with people. What do you mean, like a line in terms of like? <laughs> no, like when you're like tell like I mean, we're like going on. A we're joke talking. We're on a, we're, we're on a rip. <laughs> yeah, we're on a rip. And, and like, I say, oh my god, my pussy. Yeah, and then I'm just like, Rawr! you know what I mean, like. <laughs> Some no, people, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, you're a comedian, so yeah. you're sick and twisted. But oh. like some, the average civilian. Oh, if you're out. hanging out with some girl and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm like, me pussy almost," and then you're, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, wah! and she'd be like, "Don't, don't, don't." <laughs> My pussy doesn't make that sound. I'm like, are you sure? You know what I mean? You mean it's... <laughs> are She's you... like, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, no, you're... F- I understand. Oh, so people tell you you don't know the line because yeah. you go too far a lot. Yeah. You seem like it. I, I aim to be I, on the other side of the line. No, but I kind of like that, yeah. though. Thank you. You're, you're wilding. It, I think people say that because it'll bite you in the ass yeah. event one day. One day. With the wrong person. I needed this. <laughs> I, need- <laughs> I needed this. You have given me too much confidence today. <laughs> really? Yeah. Have I? I think, yeah. yeah. You- you're you. welcome. Hey, I needed this. I, yeah. It's the mimosas, honestly. Yeah, I'm yeah. having a good time. Good, good, good. That's what I try to strive here with a brand named Good Times. Oh, yeah. I that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> We're having a good time, guys. Oh, my God. Can I ask you a question? What's with the sunglasses? So, sunglasses is this. In my youth, I realized... I was ugly. So I had to start wearing sunglasses to be hot. You thought you were ugly? No, I get it, though, because I was ugly, too, because I was fat, though. I was ugly because I'm brown. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, when you we were born before all this PC culture started. People, people could be like, hey, you're brown. You're a fucking ugly. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or my favorite is like, when you're cute for a brown guy. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, like, uh. <laughs> I, um, I only hooked up with one brown guy once. His name was... Well, that's a hot name. He was super cute. Mm. But he had this small i shouldn't be saying this oh Oh, he's never gonna listen to this (laughs) he had the smallest dick i've ever had in my entire life i swear to god hard guys it was like it was literally this big he even said to me i have a small dick and you know when some guy tells you that they have a small dick Uh i'm like thinking it's like four or five inches it's still doable yeah no izaki had a baby dick oh this is me being like maybe it's because you have a baby dick (laughs) oh no Life is rough. Is that what brown do brown people all have baby dicks? Do you have a normal dick? I think I have a pretty normal dick. I, me personally, I think my dick is small, but for the amount but of you're girl, five nine. For the amount of girls I fucked, yeah. uh, like none of them have really been like they've all come back. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like yes, I don't, so you're not I ugly. think I have boyfriend dick. You know what I mean? Boyfriend dick's the best. Not to boyfriends though. We want that dick that's like <laughs> Uh, oh no! Don't whip it out. It's too much. It's too much. What is that thing? You 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 want a dick that assaults women that they're like they're scared of. Yes. I don't want this dick that you're like every day. I love this dick. <laughs> I don't want that dick. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, so you got a good dick, boyfriend <laughs> dick, and you're ugly. So, okay, so sunglasses yeah. is because you're ugly? Yeah, so then I was like, but You're right. not ugly. I know, but like in your youth, when you're told that, you know, it's something you're told a million times. Yes. You internalize it yeah. eventually. So that uh, I've been wearing sunglasses, then I went to college, be partying all the time. I realized when I get twisted, my eyes get real ugly. So then I put sunglasses on. You get squinty? Uh, well, squinty, they're just like, they're just like, they're just like, uh, you know what I mean? They're just like, uh, the whole time under there. <laughs> like, so but with the sunglasses on, you look cool. Hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm back. He's here. He's sober. You know? Wait, can you do the eyes again? Uh, yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you don't want that. without them. <laughs> exactly. So then it's like. Uh, no, you're not. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then when I started the podcast, I was like, if we're going to be getting faded. You know what I mean? If we're going to be drinking. Some people smoke on here. I was like, I don't want to have you go out there and, like, you know, your eyes be a little ugly or whatever. So then. It is brighter with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a it's a whole new world. And some podcasts I've blacked out with some of my guests. So we're just sitting here. Six, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like six hours just blacking out. You know what I mean? Holy shit. The first 40 episodes were, like, on a four-month bender that I filmed. <laughs> So every night I was getting, tr I was like getting trash like six nights a week. Just recording your podcast, getting trash with comics, friends, Com yeah, riffing, comics, uh, bodybuilders, yeah, everybody, everybody. And the whole goal was like, even if you didn't want to drink, I'm gonna sit here and black out. Nice. <laughs> okay. And then, that's why when you said mimosas, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah well, now you're like, this is the thing. Yeah. Well, now I'm trying to tone it down. Oh. You know okay. I mean, now the whole podcast isn't about blacking out because some of those episodes I was watching, I was like, shut up, Bob. Shut the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the real you comes out yeah. and he's vicious so in those episodes i had to tell the guests like you know we have to redo this uh, i can't i can't actually cut this all together there's no content here <laughs> like, there's content but it's not made for it's not, <laughs> it's not made for this i got you it's not made for anyone except the dark abyss you know what i mean the dark web yeah i've yeah. never gone down a little bit not too much though the dark web yeah i try to stay off of that yeah. yeah yeah like people killing other people and stuff like that yeah i just feel like my internet browser is probably contaminated already with yeah. um you know weird porn what's your weird porn search i don't really have i'm, I'm to yeah, be yeah. honest i'm very vanilla what is what? what's oh, okay yeah like i just like now i'm getting to this point where like porn kind of just like bores me you know what i mean it's yeah like, all the same so i kind of just go on xnxx.com because uh, they have, like, the farthest reach back. Like, uh, if you go to, like, the Today Selections, they go all the way back to, like, 2007. So you watch, a, oh, so you're watching, this is vintage. <laughs> <laughs> so you're watching 15 years ago yeah. when I used to download on LimeWire. Mm -hmm. You're watching that. But I'm going to, like, my birthday on those days. <laughs> like, November 18th every year. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't watching porn on the internet in 2007. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm like, this is so, so this is new porn to me. Oh, so this is new porn. <laughs> new old porn. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We have some vintage nudies. Yeah, All right. yeah. Oh, but you're just doing so you're doing regular porn. Mm, but just whatever's porn. on that page. You know what I mean? Like whatever's this time, this year in history, <laughs> Claire took six dicks in her butthole. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Yeah, and I've learned that actually, like a lot of like the porn back in the day, like the 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 titles on the captions were like much simpler. Oh, yeah. I, I I don't think I've watched new porn. Yeah. I don't really watch porn very often. But I feel like porn, I feel like it's gotten so, there's so much of it. It's intricate now. You know yes. what I mean? There's like, it's like so involved. It makes you think. Yes. Back then it was just like Bonerville, Cumville, <laughs> over. Go on with your life. Yeah. Now I do. I do. I don't know if you've watched like 90s porn or 80s mm -hmm. porn where it's very like, there's music <laughs> you know what i mean anything with music i gotta turn off you know there's like dim the lighting's kind of off you're really into it no yeah. that's cool nice oh yeah. look at you yeah so i just get whatever's on that page move on with my life you know what i mean i love that on this day in history <laughs> jerk off sessions daily i'm into it that's yeah. fun that's wild yeah and how about you what are you into what do i jerk off to um i usually use my imagination i don't really watch porn wow you that's like Girls, that's like so hard. That's like like when I mean like hard, like that's like a like tough, you know, like street hard. Yeah, like, usually I feel like I don't know what other girls do, but when I masturbate, I usually eat I'm just like imagining past sex or yeah, just imagining shit with so yeah. Your favorite past lover? Yeah, maybe. Or like literally just the sex. I don't even remember the per like it's so funny. I'll remember the sex, but I like don't want to remember the person. <laughs> so I'm just remembering the sex. Does that mm. make sense? I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, I mean I 
I don't know. Me personally, I always have to. I'm a. I'm like a. I need a face to the thing, you know. No, certain people I don't want their face. I can't. I well, that's just. It's like my thing. I can't <laughs> leave. The, I can't just go back. Well, you know what? When you're getting it from behind, you don't see their face. So. Ah, <laughs> I see. I see. There you go. There we go. She's not not anal, just normal sex. No, no, I, I got you. I got you. A little doggy style. I got you. Yeah, so that makes that's sense. A good, that's a good move. Yeah, because when you're there, you actually don't like. You can just look out the window, and <laughs> like. Yeah, that's very nice. You see some animals playing, you know, you're yeah, having a good an time. elephant that may be out there. Oh, <laughs> callback. <laughs> he loves a callback, guys. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but that would be nice, like, you know what I mean? But, like, we're just, yeah, I get it now. I get it now. Yeah, but I use my imagination. Yeah, I use, <laughs> yeah. it's like that, re- my imagination, <laughs> right? Reading Rainbow, what does she jerk off to? Damn, that's it. That- that's intense. My imagination? No, reading Rainbow. Right? J- jerking off to... <laughs> Can you imagine jerking off to reading Rainbow? I don't know how I feel um, about women using the word jerking, jerking off. off. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't, I don't, yeah. What, like, what have you used? Like, I would assume like beating I my always, bean. No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's disgusting. What am I sexually... Ass- I'm like... <laughs> I could do it. Yes. I guess... Jer- I mean, I guess jerking off. Beating my bean sounds weird, though. Yeah, I mean, jerking off is pretty aggressive, I think, in itself, too, in that sense. All right, so yeah, how would you describe a woman masturbating? I don't want to say I'm... How, what do I... I don't like saying masturbate. Yeah, I, beating my bean would take that out of there. <laughs> uh, Fli- flipping my clam. I, uh, I never heard that one, but I feel like they need to have, like, the same letters. You know what I mean? Like, uh, flipping my... Clip. Clit, flip, clit, no. clit, flipping, clit, clit, rub, rubbing my clit. Uh, it's all gross. Yeah, it doesn't sound cool. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, Not that jerking off sounds cool, but it's easier to say. I think it sounds cool, jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? It's so cool, manly. Um, <laughs> like you know, like who, like jerks get mad ass. So now I'm just jerking off. You know, what I mean? jerks do get mad ass. Yeah. It's annoying. It. I mean, I've fed into it. We all have. Yeah, same some toxic jerk women you know what i mean women can be such jerks i think women can be meaner than men most of the time oh 100 percent, absolutely <laughs> no but men are men are awful sometimes yeah but you know like the thing is men are awful but you can find like you as soon as you find oh, you find that, a nice one. Oh yeah th- no there's nice men too and same thing there's nice women no no i meant like with mean men oh, okay like, once you find like they're like something that like make like their weak spot you know what i mean it's easy just now like all right this is what makes you soft yes. you're a soft boy you yes. know what i mean mm-hmm. like a lot of time, strong men just have a persona, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so we'll just like, throw on Encanto and we'll just start weeping. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel gone. like once you... No, I know, I yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing with girls, though. I feel like girls that are assholes or cunts, like, are actually, they're nice. I don't it's know It's an exterior. That. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're, I think some girls are just rooted in evil. Well, it's because you're ugly, so that's why they're mean yeah. to you. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's so tough. <laughs> Hot people have it better. It's unfortunate. Dude, I, I always have a phrase in my life that's like, you know, like you can't be mean unless you're a nine and a half or above. Seriously, though. Like, if you're like a two and you're being a dickhead, like, chill. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? But if you've got double D's, <laughs> you're good to go. Yeah, I guess there's like some, uh, like, you can be like real cute in the face, nine and a half. You can be mean. Or you can just be like ugly with like huge tits or a huge dick. And then you can also be fucking mean. You know yeah, what I no, mean? I, yeah, 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 I've been there. But, but if you're like anything else, no, not in those cats, you Get gotta be here. a kind human being. You have to be good to people, guys. <laughs> sorry, not like, sorry. Like us now, we're, ni- we're nice humans. Yeah, we're like I, I don't have anything that can make me belittle a human. Well, I feel like that's why also like, I, I mean, I lost a ton of weight and I got more attractive. Mm-hmm. Like getting jacked does make people, if you're ugly, at least kind of hotter. You know oh, what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's so many ugly people that have gotten jacked and they're getting pussy just because they're jacked. Oh, that's why I'm in the gym so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're like those are my goals. Yeah. Like I realized this time around, I if I can just get abs, some solid shoulders that are not small. And, uh, shoulders. I have a good. You do those Arnold presses. Dude, you know? I'm doing all of them. Arnold's. I'm doing these. I think I need more lateral of these. raises. Yeah. What I, how, what weight can you do on lateral raises? Right now, I just try to do like <laughs> 20s for like 10 reps. Ooh, look at you. Oh, I mean, I can do 15. So oh, now I actually feel. I actually feel good now that you said that. That's yeah. kind of cool. I have. I have small shoulders. I never really worked on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to do lateral raises, yeah. and then you know, do front raises too. Mm. I'm trying to think what else you could do. 
I mean, you got to work all of them. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like sitting here <laughs> doing all my arm workouts like a fucking weirdo. I love shoulder day, though, yeah. so much. It's my favorite thing. See, the thing is, I've like hurt my shoulders a couple of times. Oh, so it's like, so nah, you're cautious. I'm cautious, yeah. So you this lateral raising those 20s. Yeah. yeah. I used to like dumbbell, like, uh, like, like Arnold press, like 80s. And Individual? Then, yeah. And then like I hurt my shoulder what? in my youth. And then I was like, oh, uh, there it is. 80s. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I used to be a little, I used to be a little thick boy. You were a thick boy? Well, well like, I mean, you had those titties. So yeah. Check well, not out. like uh, a <laughs> thick boy, like maybe like a uh, like senior year of college. I think I could probably lift the most I could. Oh, oh, yeah. that was like when you were beefy. Yeah. In yeah. terms of like strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like thicky thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sick. Or maybe like first two years out of college where the drinking fucking goes down. Yeah. Yeah. But then real life creeps in and then you get a life and a relationship and you work and yeah. then you do comedy and then you have no time to work out and then yeah. you eat and drink, especially after shows. Oh, my God. I like love getting French fries. It's the mm. worst. No, I'm on like that. That just like nicotine diet. You know. Oh, you I, smoke? Well, or you chew? No. Or do you do those packets? No, no. I do. Uh, the bong rips I hit are usually spliffs. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. So you get you get the double head high. Yeah. So sometimes that's why I don't like to smoke before I do a podcast because then I'm just like, oh Jesus, <laughs> is everything on? Oh no. <laughs> like I don't want you to do it now. No, like, it's, it's on now. No, it's fine. Uh, maybe like in the last what time is it i could do it in like the last third i you know i have to meet these people later that's just like it's 12 30 what time are you meeting people uh, at five. Oh, you're fine yeah okay maybe maybe at 12 30 i will so in six minutes in six minutes wait can i do one too yeah yeah for sure okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck yeah yeah um okay cool okay, all cool. right then we, we take a pause right here okay <laughs> All right, we're back. Hey. We, we had to have a pee break. That's what that was. Yeah. Oh, and we told them we were going to rip a bong. And we did. And we did. I did fun. that. So if I say anything bad, this is her fault. <clears throat> Wait, amazing. so you're an engineer during the day? What type of engineering do you do? Um, mechanical. So I work... Um, oh, the bougie ones. Yeah, right? Well, Connecticut is all aerospace. Okay. So like mechanical is like a good fit because you can work at like Pratt Whitney. You can work at, uh, I worked at Electric Boat for a while. Um, but yeah, no, I'm mechanical. I work in the aerospace industry um, and I'm technically a manager. Um, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And so I make, sp make parts for jet engines flying in the air. No. Actually, technically military engines too. It's pretty so cool. Do you work at a manufacturing plant? Well, um, I work from home, but like... Nice. Yeah, right? Nice. Dude, it's sick. You yeah. work from home too, right? Uh, I oh, used to in my last gig, oh, but man. I'm someone that needs to work somewhere. Like, I need, I should be in the office. I got you. Uh, at home time for me is um, uh, very unregulated. Oh, uh, like you can't get um, your work done at home. I can, but like I... like. If I go to work, at least I know like from eight to like five, eight to six, work. I'm done. Yeah. But like here, I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna go for a run during the day, and then somehow I'll be like working until like eight p.m. Yes, I understand. Oh, I yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, so yeah, no, but I there like I do have a building, I do have a desk, yeah. and we're gonna start like going to the office more, which sucks. Um, but um, but yeah, no, I I mean I do a lot of computer stuff, meetings. I mean, I, I. I worked my way to this point too. You yeah, know what of course, I mean? of course. Yeah, like yeah. I really like, um, I worked really hard in my twenties and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I was like really into it, but yeah, mechanical, I'm a project engineer now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we manage, that's manage like parts. your pathway. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love my job. I've always said like, uh, in your twenties, you need to like diversify your experience. Yes. And then in your thirties, you can leverage that kind of into like a chiller. Literally I, everyone I meet, I'm like, you just switch positions, grow, get your master's, mm. I have my master's. Get your master's. Well, what's your master's in? It's in it's in mechanical engineering. Oh, okay. See, I don't think I can go do school anymore. It's not that bad. I don't know. I can't. It really isn't that bad. School has traumatized me. Why? Uh, like, it was, like, so challenging for me. Uh, I went to Penn State. I graduated industrial engineering. Okay. And I'm not saying that as, like, a flex. Like a, No, I like that flex. Oh, thank you. Flex on them. But, like, no, I'm saying, like, a lot of kids do that. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, when you go to school there, they tell you, like, you can either... Um, socialize do school or sleep uh those are your three options yeah you can only do two of them right so like when you start adding the third one i feel like i always socialize school <laughs> you don't sleep enough yeah mine no but i think mine was social and s sleeping oh, okay <laughs> so i wasn't doing enough school so i just got by in school uh, no i understand and like just just getting by like my last semester i took 22 credits yeah like i was fucking and i was still partying like six days a week that's fucking wild i was i was like 
on Adderall. <laughs> you know what I mean, so I was constantly like, uh, you know, and you like were a, jacked too. Uh, yeah, like because of all this Adderall and <laughs> pre workout. You know what I mean? There we go. So it's like uh, I was in a constant state of like a paranoia, psychosis. Am I going to graduate? Oh my god! Yeah, and then I did, I did, but like I would like wake up at my parents' house, degree on the wall, but like, like in sweats, like my fucking grades didn't come in or something i'd have these nightmares yeah. and then i wake up the whole bed is wet and i say oh oh we did it we did it. it's done <laughs> it's done did you get a job right out of college no so i was unemployed for like a month oh it's not but still that's nerve-wracking when everyone yeah. every person knows this it sucks when you're graduating i didn't get my my job offer until maybe three weeks before i graduated yeah but everyone else had job offers except for me because i too had a bad gpa yeah. i had like a 283 mm. which is shitty in engineering yeah. if you don't have a three or above <laughs> you're trash yeah, in engineering really so um, I had a two five one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really. I mean, that's not. That's, but yeah, no. But everyone was like, "Oh, what a loser!" And people probably thought you're going to be smart because you're brown. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the problem. Like, I had a fucking uh, guidance counselor, like in my like, like actual college of engineering days, like uh -huh. junior or senior year. And he was like, "Buddy, you are Indian. Like, what is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't your parents teach you how to he's study? Like, yeah, he's like, what are your parents saying? Ah! Oh. oh my god, that's hysterical. I love that. Yeah, and I was like, they don't know. But yeah. then you eventually got a job. I did, I did. I got lucky. I took like a job in upstate New York, like uh -huh. my first like, oh. whatever bit I took it. Yeah, oh, I know. You know what I mean? Dude, I remember my junior year. Ever, you know, everyone gets fucking internships. Yeah, yeah. Everyone gets internships. I got one at a construction company an oh. hour and a half away because I was like, I need this. I don't yeah. care. You know what I mean, though? Mm -hmm. So I get it. So you upstate New York. Yeah. And we were just building trains. Oh, cool. Like refurbishing trains. It's actually pretty yeah, sick. It was a sick job. But like, just, I was the only brown guy there. Like, <laughs> imagine a whole parking lot of pickup trucks and then just the Honda Civic. <laughs> That was like the dynamic. I love that. Yeah, and then I was like, all right, this ain't for me. And then I got a job in Jersey, and then I got a job in South Philly now. And you're from PA? Yeah, yeah. Where in PA? Uh, Lansdale is like 45 minutes out of here. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it was like pretty chill. So from suburbia, mm -hmm. went to Penn State. Yeah. And then see what you did. You want to come back to PA? Uh, so okay, okay, okay. Oh wow, these are some hard. This is this is your show now, baby. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm no, like, no, 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 we're getting good. to know each other, yeah, guys. Yeah. No, no, this is good. This actually happens every episode. I'm like, you know, I should just change the name of the Bobcast to something else, like interview the Bob. <laughs> you know, like, um, we don't have to talk about you. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. The people, the people need to know. <laughs> no. Uh, but. No, so I went to Penn State because I only chose like three schools: Temple, Penn State, or Pittsburgh. Yeah, um, all uh, public. Okay, and Pennsylvania schools. Yeah, my, that's what my dad said. Okay, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> got to do what dad says. Exactly. You know, we weren't paying out of state tuition. That no, was, that was not what we were planning about. Yeah. And um, Temple is too close, and it's like uh, it's like sketchy neighborhood, right? Yeah. And yeah. Like I was like, I don't know about Temple, and then Penn State's in the middle of PA, and then. Pittsburgh was too far. Too far. So then it was just like Penn State. Penn State. Plus, that's like a cool party yeah. school, I feel like. Well, I didn't even party when I went to college. Oh, okay. I was like a nice sheltered boy. Yes. And then Penn State unraveled me. Oh, 100%. You know? I, oh, I oh I know. I did stand-up before I did partying. Oh, my God. Yeah. So oh. that's why I was like, this is why I feel we can do stand-up. Because we've already done it before this animal became yeah. the Bob. He's still in there. Yeah. He's like that I like nice. that you call yourself the Bob. <laughs> Maybe that's why girls aren't matching with you. You, call, you refer yourself as the Bob. <coughs> no, no, the Bob is this guy, this guy right here. <laughs> the Bob is this guy, Bavik, that lives in the natural world. He's uh -huh. he's not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this just entity that comes out when you're drinking yeah. which is what we're doing right now yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no 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 exactly and uh yeah it was like um then i was like all right like we're gonna just live in pa because it's close to my parents yeah. we had the dairy i had a dairy queen for a long time i love wait you owned a dairy queen yeah my, our family I love Dairy Queen. Yeah. I live right near oh, one. Oh, do you? What's your go-to? Mine's a vanilla cone with a cherry dip. Did you uh, hear they're discontinuing it? Fuck you, Dairy Queen. That was mm, my favorite. Yeah, cherry. We actually would uh, keep very minimal stock of cherry. Like, Why? <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> it's only a favorite in the small population of humans, though. It's, uh, okay. Well, I'm one of them. Yeah, I know. But, you know, when yeah, you... Same thing at, at Carvel. <laughs> I remember I'd go there. It'd be, like, hard. They'd have to, like, 
warm it up. No one gets <laughs> cherry dip. It's like very fake tasting cherry. That's so good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, what'd you like? So I call it just the bob. Uh, it's like fucking. I'm gonna I'm gonna order this next. Oh, it's not on any menu. No, I know. I'm yeah, like, you, or, I live yeah. a mile away from Dairy Queen right now. So what I would do, I recommend like kind of doing like this. Okay. Get them to put cocoa fudge, rainbow jimmies, Oreos, some brownies on the bottom of the cup. Okay. Maybe get in a medium cup, Sunday okay. cup, um, okay, or a Blizzard cup. Just parfait it. Okay. Uh, some um, I do twist ice cream usually because. All vanilla hurts my stomach. Okay. Uh, Cause I'm like allergic at this point. <laughs> okay. uh, fucking. And then the next layer, you know, that can be something uh, like graham cracker fudge. The one they use in the s'mores is like oh. real cocaine. Uh, oh so you God, can throw yes. that in there. It's like yes. graham cracker fudge and cocoa fudge. They're like oh, yeah. the dynamic strong suits. I'm into it. I'm uh, going to get it. I didn't even know any, this is all brand new information. Yeah. So like th- those are good. And like, but I might do like the second layer, like something like strawberries um this is chaotic <laughs> yeah there's there's rainbow sprinkles with chocolate and graham cracker and now strawberries yeah like well like, see the thing is you're making like several different treats because you're parfaiting it you know what i mean okay i can't order this i don't <laughs> i don't own a dairy cream where I can, just be like, can you guys layer the ice cream but with different treats in between you can you can if you just like you know like talk, uh, talk them through it I, i'll i'll text you the fucking actual like uh how to pr- like um how to pronounce how to order it how to order it. yeah yeah okay well, maybe the viewers want to know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll text it to all of you guys, I guess. And, <laughs> and then Cookie Crunch. You need that in there somewhere. Is what is Cookie Crunch what they use? In the cakes. No, no, no. Oh, I love the Cookie Crunch. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's so good. No, my recently, I really like the uh, Puppy Chow Blizzard. Mm. It has like Chex Mix in it. It's so good. I haven't. Well, see, we sold it in February. Oh. So I haven't. I've been actually free now. Okay. Well, Puppy Chow Blizzard. It's like Reese's Puppy Chow in a Blizzard. It's so good, guys. So where they have Reese's cups and then what? No, you said no. Chex it's, mix? It's, it's like Chex Mix, but I think it's like the Puppy Chow Chex Mix because it's. I, I I don't know though. That's I've, what I was asking I've never for the had ends. It. Yeah, yeah. I never had. It's puppy really chow good. Chex mix. I also tell people this is how you know I used to be fat. Uh-huh. I could talk about. I will talk about food all day, every day. Yeah. I get very passionate. Well, about um. <laughs> I'm really curious because you live so close to a Dairy Queen. You know, we can look, 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 look. Ready? Dairy Queen. I have, I have Dairy Queens up here. You know, what I mean, these are all blizzards. That's definitely the mint blizzard. That's the cotton candy. Okay, okay, well, hold on. No, we, no, no. That's the animal cookies. Okay, okay. Calm down. We usually we have to do this in a structured way. You can't just get at it like this. Okay. <laughs> I know, but I don't know all of them. Okay, I know, but I don't think you'll be able to get all of them. So this is the like, this one was the original one on the wall, right? Okay. And I would play that in season one. And that's the Animal Crackers Yeah, one. you already got that. So game over for that one. You did it. Crushed it. Thank okay. You. So now we start over here. It's definitely mint something. Okay, mint. See, I don't eat mint, so I would have never ordered the mint. Is it mint Oreo? Okay, so you can... Mint brownie. Brownie. Uh, in, chocolate chips? There you go. I'll give it to you. Mint chocolate chip brownie. Um, and then this one is going to be a really ch- tough one. Okay, because there's... Is it the... Brookie? No. Because mm. it's chocolate. Okay, so you get three guesses on each one. This okay. is how the game works. If All you right. get it wrong okay. here, it's over. All right, so chocolate. I know there's chocolate and Oreo in it. Okay. Is it an Oreo blizzard? No. And I had chocolate and Oreo. I wouldn't order this. I know. That's why it makes it so tough. Um, Chocolate and Oreo. Cookies and cream? That's kind of the same. You're kind of saying the same thing from Oreo to cookies. Is it just an Oreo blizzard? What is it? Chocolate yeah. and cream? You know, I want to give it to you. It's Oh, okay. And you'll never get How that. I've gotten... <laughs> Although I've had that one. Good. No, I don't think this one would be that good, to be honest. No, we're good on that. Just my feet kicking off that. Yeah, oh, my God. Those, did you see that challenge where the women were, like, using their feet to, like, kick off a Poland Springs bottle top? You know what I mean? No, I haven't. <laughs> Kendall Jenner did it. Oh, of course she did. She um... wants to just show them feet. Next one is real easy. Reese's cups. But what what are those in there? They're Reese's pieces. And Re- Reese's cups. Yeah, it's. A, but I'll still, I'll still give it to you. <laughs> I'm like not even talking the microphone because I'm distracted by the food. <laughs> I was like salivating. I'm getting so wet right now, guys. This is a, this is so. Okay, hold on. This oh, is chocolate chip cookie dough, right? Eh. So that's brownie. That looks like caramel. Okay, okay, okay. That, or or is that a Heath Bar Crunch Bar? Eh. This is the last guess. If you guess this, you get it right. But if you don't. I'm gonna go with Kit Kat explosion. Uh, All right, what was it? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bleep this out because you know you didn't get it. So the game is still on for the Bob. We did it. We did it. Hold on, I got a victory. Me. Cheers. Is this an actual thing? Yeah. Oh, so I got all of them except for one. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. It was.
I was, oh, see, I don't need. Yeah. Yes, I have one again. I might have to bleep out too because I told you during the thing. You did. Yeah. No. Oh. Go, Bob. Oh, that was so much fun. That was fun. I usually save that game till the end. Are we over? No, no, no. Uh, but like, uh, fucking. Uh, you were just so excited about Dairy Queen. I was like, I could I, not. Dude, I love Dairy Queen. Yeah. I love ice cream. I'm a big, ugh. Again, we, sweets. I yeah. love sweets. Do you love... have a 7-Eleven near you? No. Okay. They're building one, though. Good. Like, literally right now, there is, they're building one. Like, it's going to be out soon. 7-Eleven has this one pint by them, and it's like um, vanilla cake frosting, oh, and it's God. just like... Um, remember, like, in your childhood, you go to a fucking birthday party, and it was, like, they had, like, just a vanilla cake with that fucking chocolate icing and like jimmy's like the old school chocolate icing you know what I oh mean? no i know exactly i'm imagining it right now yeah. it's like a classic yellow cake yeah. with classic milk chocolate frosting mm -hmm. and then just a Some couple yeah. yeah they have that at 7-eleven yeah and it's like literally i get that and a brownie and i'll fucking uh like um what do you call it just like I'll, I'll go through the whole thing and dig <laughs> out all the icing to, okay, I was gonna say. Yeah. first i get out all the icing and then by then i'm left with half a pint and then I throw the brownie in there. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Dude, that sounds so fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love eating Twinkies. If I was... Actually, I went on a date with this guy once, mm. and I liked the question that he asked, so I always ask people it. Yeah. Clearly, it's just, you know, I'm taking over. But what's your go-to gas station snack? Mm. You're on a road trip, you get, you're hungry, you pull over, you pull up at a gas station, what are you getting? Mm, gas station. I'll tell you mine, because I've like already yeah, thought yeah, about this Yeah, you question. tell me yours. It, mine is those, like... Fritos, those barbecue twists, uh, those that's my go-to gas station snack. Yeah. If if I almost always get those. If I don't get those, I'll get Cheetos. And then if I don't get Cheetos, I'll go combos. I love a good pretzel with fake cheese inside. That's delicious. You're a cr crunchy gal. I guess so. Yeah, that's what I got from all. Not that. in the granola vibe, but like mm. crunchy in the sense of I like like chomp chomp. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> You're like working on the jaw muscle. You, what are you? Right? What are you like a beef jerky guy? No, but you know you, that's so wild. You brought beef jerky. I up. love beef jerky though. Because I just made a wild TikTok about beef jerky that also got zero views. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go view it now because I love I love beef jerky. I was at like fucking Wawa the other day on my lunch break, and yeah. I usually go and get fucking Food. sandwich. Yeah, and fucking I just like I work in manufacturing, yeah. right? so like a bunch of yeah, big, Jack. yeah, yeah, big ship builders. And uh, this dude is there, and he just gets himself like iced tea and beef jerky. You know, he's like he's like jacked. He's like he's like his pants are hiked up a little bit, jeans like torn a little bit. You know, he's got his like work shirt on. It's like dirty, but like iced tea and beef jerky, like that's what this man is eating. And you were like, I want to be like that. So did you also get beef I, jerky and iced no, tea? No, <laughs> I, I couldn't. I had to get my chicken sandwich. What do you get on your sandwich? Uh, just like a, do you get the breaded tendies? Depends. It depends. That depends how much of a bitch I'm feeling like. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm feeling real weak, I get the bread attendees. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then like lettuce, tomatoes, mayo, uh, cheese whiz, because, you know, Ooh. 215 represent. Right? Yeah. Is that, oh, is that a thing? Philly, yeah, yeah. That's a Philly thing. Yeah, like, you know, cheese taste. You got to get cheese whiz, yeah. not, not regular cheese. No, I just live by the whiz. Okay, live, <laughs> live and die by the whiz. That's a Philly thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But a gas station, I probably get like a, if I'm going up to like let's say I'm going snowboarding and I need to stop at the gas station, I'll probably like uh fucking maybe get some little little mini donuts. Mini donuts. Yeah. P mini powdered donuts. Not powder because they'll make a so mess just in the car. Mini chocolate. Right. The chocolate donuts. That's your go-to gas station. <laughs> no. So now no. Then I'm trying to figure out what does that say about you. So yours is go-to <laughs> fake chocolate glazed. Oh, I know what you're talking about though too. Yeah. Are they are they glazed or are they they have the chocolate? They just have like that chocolate coating on them. Like they're, they're, like it's yeah. kind of hard. Okay. Yeah. They're like the mini ones though. They're like this big. I'm trying to think. I don't know what that means. You're a sweetheart, maybe. <laughs> he's a sweet tooth. Yeah, I have definitely. You're a sweet soft. Tooth. You're very soft. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, You're I'm easy? a fatty. I'm a little like. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I've never heard someone say chocolate donuts before. Yeah. That's a choice. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> like I'll a, let you know. I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah think about it. Like, I'll mull it over. Donuts, you know, or like. A, I do love donuts. I'm a donut girl too. I love donuts. Oh, you know, like. At work, like you're in the office, right? Oh God, someone brings in donuts, and then everyone, the whole office, is like, <laughs> right? Like diets are all off when someone brings in donuts, dude. especially like good donuts, not like shitty donuts. I'm, I'm down for any donuts. Oh, you you don't mind a Dunkin' Donut? 
I'm brown. That's okay. part of our. <laughs> You're like, we grew up, there's 7 billion people. We need food. You get it. <laughs> no, Dunkin' Donuts is one of the brown franchises. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that checks out. Yeah, I, I, that was, <laughs> I went like a racist way. <laughs> You're like, no, we love to own chains. Have you not been to a subway before? Dude, I went to a Dunkin' Donuts the other day in Philly, and the, some kids were like wild in there. And I fucking, the guy, he was Indian. Okay. And I fucking, he was all like, uh, after they left, I was like, oh, I was like, he had like an Eagles Duncan on. Nice. And I was like, like just being polite. Like, go oh, birds. Like, Politely, yeah, go, you're like go birds. Go birds. I was like, can you sell me that shirt? Like I'll like I love that. You know. What oh, I mean? so it was an Eagles Dunkin' Donuts shirt. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. And he was like, I can't because you know he's not in my store. And then I finally told him about the Dairy Queen and everything. Yeah. And he was like, oh, this guy is just like me. And he gave me like eight donuts for free. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's a fellow brown. So yeah, he felt just like me. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. If you're just nice to those people in Dunkin' Donuts, they'll give you shit for free. Did you hype up the accent too? Yeah, sometimes. You're like, sometimes Can I it just slips that? a little bit. You know? Just yeah. yeah well, right. especially when you're talking to your. Well, I get it because sometimes you're talking to someone yeah. and they're because they're Indian and they're talking that yeah. way towards you, so you just well. Plus, you speak the language. Yeah. Wait, do you speak in in Fart, I- It's Farsi. I know like simple phrases like "hello," "goodbye," yeah. and like I understand it more. Like, do you know yeah. what I mean? If I hear my mom talking to someone, I can be like generally understand what they're talking about and then about. you put context clues together. yes yeah yes, exactly yes, yes, but yes, you yes. speak it speak it yeah i mean definitely like conversational but like if you ask me to give a speech i mean i could maybe give a speech yeah maybe uh but like Can you say hello how are you uh like uh, so kevuche <laughs> is like how are you kevuche like uh, let, me, let me just make sure kevuche <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So like kevuche is like. So we say say hello. How are you? So hello is like I, I don't know if there really is a like, word. Like salam is hello in Farsi. I don't. I might not know a hello. Like hello I, to me. Like when I see any one of my family members, real talk, I just go up and I'll be like. For a long time, it was Mr. Patel. I was just say Mr. Patel. Even the people that weren't Patels, I didn't know people. Mr. Patel. <laughs> I didn't know they made Indian people in my family that weren't Patels. Oh. So that was number one. No one told me this for like 20 years. Okay. So I just go up, hello, Mr. Patel, and just give everybody hugs. And they're like, what is this, this autistic kid doing? Exactly. But then I just go into like, like how, like I wouldn't even say, like I just say hello. Okay. I, Hi. Kamcho. 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 Like that mean like, Kamcho. Uh, Kamcho. Like, Kamcho. Good day, maybe. Yeah. Good day. I think, yeah, like it's Salam, Chehabar. It's like, how are you? Mm, salam. I definitely heard that one. Yeah. yeah. And then Chodafes is goodbye. Yeah, Choda, Hagendas. Chodafes. Yeah, Hagendas <laughs> or Chodafes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, just say Hagendas. It's the easier way to remember. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And like, do you find sometimes you have to say certain phrases in the accent to actually get it through? You know what I mean? Like oh, like jokes. I have jokes in the accent. No, like oh, when you're like talking to like even like your grandparents or your like fa- family members. Yeah. Like, no. Oh. <laughs> I literally only the only person that um I have is like my mom. Mm. My mom. So my mom moved here in the seventies mm. um for her masters. Ooh. She met my dad and then you know got married and then stayed here. And um like my like in terms of like like persianness besides like just my mom growing up like her mom lived with us when i was little Mm -hmm. then she died in her house um and then i had like my aunts and uncles like they would visit but like not like super frequently and like we grew up as americans Uh. so like the only farsi i really heard was like my mom with her mom or like my mom the phone with her friends or my Mm -hmm. mom visit you know like and then eventually she got persian friends in the area and stuff like that Uh. but yeah i'm more definitely more american white than i am Mm -hmm. persian but it's definitely a part of me obviously oh yeah of course no i just asked that because like i sometimes can't sit like talk in gujarati without doing the indian accent like i've tried doing it in this tone yeah and it's just some words just they don't just they don't come out so then oh yeah i can't just say salam like it feels weird yeah Yeah. how how do you actually say it salam Salam. oh you say salam Yes. You gotta like I don't know I feel like the ech comes out a little bit and you get a little I feel like I talk quieter too yeah so you have to think about it a little more yeah, too it's quieter and it sounds like more like uh, like more sophisticated almost like, yeah uh, like it's s- oh my smoother a uh, Farsi is very beautiful yeah. it's a very beautiful language mm. like because there's a lot of like like hushkel. my mom used to call me hushkel. means beautiful yeah and like. Hushkel. You know, and like my sister's name, the Americanized is Zara, uh-huh. but it's really pronounced Zahra. You know, like, like a the lot store? of. It, yeah, like uh. that's, but that's what she goes by, but there's an H in it. It's supposed yeah. to be Zahra. I feel like, yeah, Farsi is definitely like more of like softer. Wait, how do you say that beautiful one again? 
Oh, um, Hoshkel. Hush, now, see, that word is like, hushkel. if you don't say it nice, smooth, and slow. Hoshkel. <laughs> it sound like you're hawking a loogie. Hoshkel. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Right? You have to say it like all like, you have to be hushkel. Like, yeah, you gotta be cutie about it. That's why some, there's, there's very few in front, but like, I'm sure there's like hot brown dudes. Like, there's hot Iranians dudes. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, my Middle God. Eastern dudes are hot. Middle Eastern dudes are very hot. Right. Oh, but no, only a song. <laughs> 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 there are like guys that I've met, like you know, like set up, and I'm like, oh no, I don't know, man. I, you know, the thing is, <laughs> I look at some of these Middle Eastern dudes, and I'm like, damn, like they're just like the buff, strong Indian dudes. I almost feel like, you know, what I mean, like they're almost like the turned up version. Who's, of the- who's the guy that was in the the Big Bang Theory? He got hot. Oh, oh! I know what you're talking about Kumail Ninjami. So, yeah, something. close. Yeah. I, no, that's the closest we can get. Kumail <laughs> Ninjami. Yeah, Ninjaminamaji. <laughs> but he went from like nerd to like he's a superhero now. He's ripped. That could be you. That, but you know what he did? What? Roids. Oh. Roids. He really? Roids. But that's like bad for you. No, no, no. They, a lot of celebrities are on roids. Really? Yeah, a lot of a lot of. Joe Rogan's on roids. Did you watch the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary? I have. I mean, I think there's a couple, but like, you know. I, I watched have... the recent one on okay. Netflix. What was that about? It was about him. and like, But anyways, but yeah, like definitely he did steroids and stuff too. So I was just curious. Yeah, I, I was mean, like, have you in been bodybuilding, I, I mean, I've never. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna because like they say it makes your nuts small. <laughs> and I'm like. I'm like, my nuts are already small enough. I can't afford this. <laughs> well, just for a little extra bicep. Does the actual nut get smaller or the skin around it tightens up? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the thing is, the skin around it tightens up when it's cold outside. So I'm. I'm so ass- the actual nut gets I'm smaller. I'm assuming. Ew, I am can ha- you imagine you had nuts like the size of marbles? Oh, <laughs> that was, that was- Ew, that's gross. <laughs> What are these two little fucking clits doing down yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking clits. <laughs> that's so good. It's fucking gross. Yeah, but uh, no, yeah. So that's like my biggest fear with steroids, you know? Yeah. So I'm, Small I'm, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I feel like if you had smaller nuts, it would make your dick look bigger. Or they'd be like, why do you have these baby boy nuts? Yeah, no, no. It's like, yeah, baby boy nuts. It doesn't matter. If you can have a huge schlong, like, Fucking OG mud bone. Yeah, but you got small. I'm trying to now imagine all the balls that I've handled yeah. in my life, and I'm like, I feel like I don't really pay attention to them. But now but, I'm like thinking, if I had small balls, I would know. But like, like, but like, you would notice if you had like a really huge dick, that would and be then, a problem. Yes. And like with it, baby balls. Yeah, because yeah, you gotta like fondle them a bit. What if I'm fo- I'm like, what am I? What am I yeah, like, 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 can you actually move your dick, dude? Like, yeah, where, right. Like, you know where I mean? are they? I don't yeah. even know. I'm touching your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already back there. Are you into butt? Are you butt? Are you a butt person? Uh, to be honest, I don't really care about, like, look, I know what comes out of my asshole. Have you had a finger in your butt? Yeah, definitely a little, and I don't really care for it too no, much. No, I, I feel like the finger isn't deep enough to get, where's the, the thing anyway? What do you mean? Your, what's it called? Prostate. A finger can reach the prostate? Yeah, I, I, I have a joke I used to do about, like, how the man's G-spot is in his asshole. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... You're not a butt fan, though. I don't think I am because I know what happens. Like I know, right? You poop, and it's, it's a lot. And you, you told me about how you used to have 45 minutes of diarrhea. <laughs> Call back. You love those, but you know I can't. I can't. I can't. Put the woman I care about next to that. Yeah, you know? I got you. No, I'm interested. I yeah. I actually had a guy, Thomas Patrick, who's gay. That was on the podcast, and okay. we talked about it. He's like, you know, you can just. You know, work on it a couple of days, like clean it up. <laughs> you have to like train your butthole for fingers. Yeah. I love that. Good for him. But I was like, unless she's really about it. Yeah. I could maybe fucking finagle it. But like, I don't personally care. Yeah. You know about like even fucking a girl in the ass. Like, I don't even really care about that. Have you done that? Yeah. Yeah. It was like twice in my life. And the second time I did it, it was a shitty dick afterwards. <laughs> Ew. Oh, yeah. so you came and then you got shit on your dick? No, I never even came. It was just like so, we were just so drunk, just making butt love and like uh, <laughs> just it was like over. And it was like, all right, this is not going to happen. And then you went. Oh, uh, and she actually kind of like she was like, I'm going to go home. And I was like, yeah, cool. Because uh, we were in college. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. And like, I was like, and then what happened was over the next couple of days, uh, I, we just kind of smell shit. And uh, I realized. It was, oh, yeah. yeah. 
That makes sense. And I had to wash everything. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. So oh god. It's like I was like, you know, what? the pussy is great. The pussy is it, great. It's it's the greatest thing ever. I don't need to. It really is. Like this is. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like we don't need to go through the poop shoot. No. Absolutely. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. How about you? Are you in the butt play? Um, a little bit sometimes, yeah. but not um not on my like not a full dick. Yeah. I've done a full dick once. It was too much. I couldn't handle it. Yeah. I can handle the pressure. I've done like anal beads and stuff like that. Mm. But yeah, I'm more of a pussy girl. I love like I I I like uh like wean in my dick, my dick. I like wean in my pussy. <laughs> I like wean in my dick, guys. I actually have one. You Let's didn't call see it earlier. Like docking. It's because she's been drinking mimosas <laughs> <laughs> and doing God knows what else. Yeah. No, no. That's like, uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> why are we talking about butt play? I don't remember how we got here. Yeah. It, the the Bobcast is a rabbit hole. But you know the craziest thing about butt play is they. Yeah. Like, uh, one last thing on butt play. Okay. I would always like be like. And I think this is just a man thing. Like you'd always like when you get into a relationship or start talking to a girl, you're like, oh, like let's let's do it in the ass. Let's do it in the ass. Yeah. And like you're always like, oh, like no, like shut up, like yeah. fuck you. But like what that ex that I had, she one day like mentally prepared herself. She was like, like yes. She was like, no, from the whole day, she was like, I'm, she's like, I'm gonna, like, he's gonna ask tonight. I'm gonna let him fuck me in the ass. But the thing was, like, I got like so, like, I didn't know this was part of the night. So now I'm back there, just like, hammered, right? And she's like, put it in my ass. And I was just like, mm. like, you know, like, it wasn't from a place of like, you know, like, yeah. oh, you know, I wanna do it. It was like, no, just, you were like, she, you're like, no. No, like, you, and then I kind of, like, I wasn't like, even it as, took the like, fun out of it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you like the fun out of a woman saying no? Just a, a woman that I'm Don't with. <laughs> <laughs> then it's fair game. <laughs> and, and, uh, my, but I didn't even have like a good hard dick. You know what I mean? Sometimes the pussy can take kind of like a, oh, a softer Oh, 100%. <laughs> Sometimes if you're, yeah, because then it warms it up. It, bring, yeah. it, like build, it like molds it in the pussy. It yeah. makes it harder. Oh, yeah. 100%. But this was just like, I was just like, oh. And I was like. Although nothing is worse than the soft dick inside. Yeah. Ooh, for Wait, you don't even get that it's like if you're like you couldn't even penetrate yeah you're <laughs> flopsy you're like trying to get it through the hole it's like, no. like off to the side i was like what's happening and yeah anal was ruined for me kind of that day and then the poop shoot so after that i was like you know what let me just do the normal thing yeah, normal stuff what god intended yeah the right? god's up there intended right there they want it in the pussy yeah it's like uh, i learned one time you shouldn't fuck any way that animals don't no. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if animals come on their faces. I don't know if that's. The <laughs> I think I think monkeys might do that. Really? Yeah. Like I've seen like some. Are you writing that down? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I thought you were for a second. I thought you like new bit animals coming on faces. That's funny. Um, no, but that actually could be a funny bit where you're talking about animals fucking and then they're like, oh, animals do like we do. I'm like, they come on faces. But apparently monkeys do. Yeah. Like no, no. I, I've seen like videos where a monkey will just be like jerking off in a tree and it would just nut. Oh, and just okay. a monkey will be down there, you know. Uh, I, be like, uh. No, I just buy cash. Like, what is like a bird shit oh, on okay. you? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there's come. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Have you been doing any new bits that are like fucking <laughs> <laughs> too far? I haven't been doing any cum bit. Well, no, I actually do have a cum bit, but no, none about this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> again i'm like what, what, i like the rabbit hole stuff yeah, yeah i'm into it i'm trying to maybe we get back on comedy now maybe what, 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 <laughs> i don't we were talking about and i'm being in a, you know, deep in the ball home <laughs> wait what were we talking about before so all you this you asked me if i like butt play oh yeah but why were we, why did i ask you that just because i think I, yeah that i don't know that that's too far back <laughs> <laughs> that's far gone now. Yeah, as we did the Dairy Queen thing yeah, like, yeah that what? was up there too <laughs> oh you're working with Indian guy Dairy Queen you bought his shirt oh yeah there I go. wanted to buy his shirt yeah, oh yeah. and he gave you eight donuts donuts yeah. oh we took one donuts we from donuts yeah. made the glaze I don't know yeah something got you there <laughs> And uh, I was I don't know <laughs> me being like why did I go to Dana what's hey, going it's, on it's all right we yeah. we we've, we've discussed it all here that's good I like that on this couch we're very open mom don't worry about that does mom listen to this yeah she's seen uh the one <laughs> I wonder if your mom is like she looks like a good Middle Eastern girl you should marry her you know not really no I'm like half Middle Eastern so Wait, did, do they want you to marry a brown girl well you know I had a brown girl for a long time. <gasps> Oh, that was the seven-year relationship. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah. then that kind of uh, the fire just unfired out. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I had a long-term college boyfriend too for like ten years. I feel like Damn. that. No, but I feel like I also they say that they say a lot of the times your first relationship is always the longest yeah. because it's all you know. Yeah. And you don't know how to leave, mm. and it takes you a while to get to that point. You yeah. know, mine was cheating. Yours was 
Just like, you know, I think we were going in two separate paths. Yeah. Yeah. She was, did, did you just start dating because you were both like brown and attracted to each other? Because you're like, oh, another brown person. She's cool. I think so. Honestly. Uh, honestly. Yeah. And we we're like, yeah. yeah, we were like, yeah. And it's kind of like, you're like, oh my God, this would be great if it works out. Yeah. yeah. And we were both had the same vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is great. Yeah. People are often jealous of us. Really? Yeah. Oh. We had that couple, you know what I mean? They, oh, they always got their shit together. Mm -hmm. But sometimes shit was not together it i wasn't. tell you <laughs> <laughs> little do they know <laughs> well so you're in your early 20s i think that too i'm like thinking about my early 20s all that whole religion i was like i was a kid yeah i didn't know who i was or what i wanted or anything do you now know who you are yeah for sure i'm oh. growing into that now oh damn yeah i'm entering my 30s this year and i wonder your 30s are literally the best because yeah. in the sense of the best of like you don't give a fuck about other people you know who you are you know what you like you have money mm -hmm. and like i don't know like i choose to live my life how i want to live it like i feel like in my 20s i feel like i just me yeah mirrored a lot of people try to fit in try to have friends try to you know like make my mom happy you know like live oh, i felt like i was living one. in a haze like living yeah. my life for other people and i feel like in my 30s now at least for me i'm living for myself and I know who I am. I'm also like so super independent. I mm. love to do stuff by myself all the time and it's the best. I've learned to like love myself. I didn't yeah. love myself for the longest time. Do you love I believe yourself? that. No, I definitely don't love myself. I have to definitely work on that a yeah. lot. I do. Uh, You'll do it in your 30s. Yeah. Self-love comes out. But you know, I feel like, you know, like you say this Iranian mother thing and like you, that was a big thing. Like you brought up right there. You're like listening to all these things yeah. and then the mom, right? Yeah. And like, I don't think you can ever make these certain women, these women satisfied. No. No. That's no. They, <laughs> they expect you to get married and have children and that's it. And well, like, no, even beyond that, right? So I always thought like the engineering degree would oh be Oh my enough. God, the engineering degree isn't enough. No, then you, you need get, to get your master's. You need to get a better job. Yeah. You need to be the best at what you're doing and also have a family and do all yeah. that other stuff and don't do drugs and don't drink. Yeah. And what is this comedy thing you're doing? No, don't do that. Isn't like, that crazy? It's like a, such a different culture and I feel like a lot of people don't get it yeah. unless you're from it and it's traumatizing. <laughs> sorry, your mom. I don't talk to my mom right yeah. now. So sorry, your mom. Uh, no, yeah. I kind of talk to my mom openly about this. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, no, that's great. Yeah. That's great that she's receptive. Well, she's, he well, she doesn't she have a choice. Be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I always try to explain to her is like, you know, like we can continue beefing. Yeah. For the rest of our lives until you die. Yeah. What do I get out of that? Yeah. You know what I mean? What yeah. do you get out of that? Come on. Yeah. Come on, Bucko. Just We're let me live my life and just be happy that I'm your son and that I love you. Yeah. Well, yeah. not even that. Like I want to have a better relationship with you. Yeah. You know, the first twenty some years was like very strenuous. Yeah. And I get it. It was strenuous on you. You gotta make sure this kid gets straight is. I get it. You have to prove something to them back there. I get and you it. didn't. He got a 2-5, okay? <laughs> well, he came out with an engineering degree. You know what I mean? It's all right. You got to sometimes tiptoe to right? fucking fly. Yeah. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, well... I mean, same thing with me. I graduated with a fucking 2-8, and yeah. I'm still... I'm an engineer now, so... But, like, you know, they, they, ha they have to satisfy the, like, the justification for coming over here. Yeah. And so they don't want, like... You know, like, why are there not too many Indian boys in prison kind of thing? You know what I mean? Like, most it's of us are scared. Actually, of, though, wait, why? Because we're scared of my... Every time I've been arrested, it's like the cop is, like, flexing on me. And he's like, I'm like, he's like, oh, are you not scared? I'm like, no, I have a mom at home that's going to fucking tear my asshole <laughs> for the next 80 years. It's true. You get to do it for one night. Yeah. She gets to do it for a lifetime. Like, calm yeah. down, bro. Calm yeah. down, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. So, you know, they have to, like... they. And you try to it's also like them. a societal thing yeah. too like the culture is very much just like you're you expect the most from your family and you expect you put them on like the highest like Pedestal. she yeah like she wants you to be the, be the best you can be mm -hmm. and like she may not do it in the best ways but yeah you know, but like, that's the only ways they know like that's like, it's the only I, way they know though i've like i even talked to my sister about this is like you know like sometimes she gets mad at my mom about like the way my mom handles things i'm like that's the only way she knows how to handle things. yeah she got pregnant what a 19 came to this country yeah had two kids worked in factories yeah like, what like there's only like and then if you're gonna say some outlandish things to her just because like you got this idea from somewhere else it's like you gotta almost remember like she doesn't have that scope and understanding nor does she need to have it yeah because that kind of scope comes from like luxury yeah you know? yeah yeah but it's like, it's pick like and I, choose your battles. Yeah, that's exactly choose, it. Pick and choose the relationship you want with your parents, depending on like what you can tolerate and not and stuff yeah. like that. 
So that's good. That's good that you have a relationship. I just try to smile. Every like smile with everything bad thing I try to say to her, I had to smile with. You know? I love, well, you seem like charming. And then without the sunglasses, you're more doofy. So yeah. then like mom's <laughs> like, oh, maybe that's my little boy. I love you so much. Exactly. That was know? my Persian accent. But yeah. And same, then same I vibe. just keep getting skinnier. Right. So just keep getting skinnier. She will have she to feed you. She wants to feed you. Oh, my God. Middle East. <laughs> it's, they love to. F- all, food is like their love language. Yeah, yeah. My mom will feed you till tomorrow. Like that's how she makes people happy is food. Did your mom like ever get upset with the weight loss? She was like, "Oh, come on." Well, she used to say it, but then yeah, she used to then she was like, "You're too skinny. Mm. You don't eat enough. Why are you eating this?" blah blah blah. Every single time I'd go to her house and I wouldn't want to eat certain things. Yeah, She'd be yeah, like, yeah. "Why are you eating this?" And I'm like, "Cuz I just don't want to." You yeah, don't so understand, 100%. Mom. It's <laughs> dude, it's so fucked in the head, too, yeah. though. It's like what you first thing told me how fat I was and now I'm too skinny for you. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you can never win with them. No, you can't. It's mm-hmm. fucking annoying. Middle Eastern moms and dads. I don't know dads. My dad was white, so I don't know about you. My dad is Indian. Okay. Yeah, I'm pure blood. You're <laughs> not a mud blood like me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you close with your dad? Oh yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, like, we all worked together for this l- many years. You know, Dairy I mean? Queen. Yeah. So I was like, sure, we have our bad days, but my dad is like, his name is Vishnu, man. He's like Vishnu. The hell yeah. Top dog. So I was like, uh, like that's one of the gods' names in Hinduism. Oh. So I always feel like you know, even if we do beef, I'm still like a half. Halfy, half god. You're half god. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my mom is a fucking you know village girl. Well, aren't yours? Wait, is she really? <laughs> I mean, they're, I mean, all they're, they're all from Gujarat, uh-huh. which is like, and they come from this village. But like, you know, what I mean, like, so they came from a village and then they immigrated here. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So that's why, like, sometimes I like I can't get upset when certain people do things because their scope is like, you know, they they've made it. Like they've made it. They, you know yeah, I mean? they're and, real, like, real immigrants. Yeah, and then when I think about, like, you know, things I'm fucking stressed about, I'm like, it's nothing, dude. Fucking chill your shit, you know? Right? <laughs> I'm, like, trying to think what stresses you out. Your fucking parents are immigrants, like, trying to make a family and stuff like that, and you're, like, worried about... Like, trying to make it in this comedy? girl. Or, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> this podcast. Yeah, right. You're these like, 10 dating apps. Like, I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> Call back my uh, Christian... <laughs> 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 No, wait, wait, it was meth- Methodist. <laughs> Methodist. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, like like their success, I, I even if I become really successful, it doesn't match to theirs. Yeah. That's what, how I kind of think. No, I got it. Because it's a different. sick way of thinking, too. I think it definitely is a sick way of thinking, and I think it's like a comparison thing where it's like, no, both is equal in its own way. But yeah, I feel like most people would be like, oh, yeah, that's definitely way more than you being like, I got a spot at helium, guys. <laughs> 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 oh. which is the sad thing that that's like what you mean? like at a late night <laughs> yeah, right. on a thursday on a wednesday yeah well at least like i feel like comedy is nice in a philly because like there's no like 2 a.m spots where in new york like i could never new york's crazy yeah new york i've done a midnight show before and then gone home after and i'm like what am i doing people do this people do shows every single night all the time yeah it's crazy i've done like on thursday like raven lounge has like a late spot yeah and like i've done like a 1 a.m spot there but that's like only on thursdays usually okay they're like the late night mike yeah 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 that's fine uh yeah it it comes and goes when the school year's back around there's people thirsty thursdaying it i love a good thirsty thursday shows i do those sometimes but not that late though yeah not one in the morning do you okay so you run a show filthy 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 comedy comedy, yeah. yeah And uh, like, uh, what kind of age does it attract? It definitely, I would say, a good range, like twenties to fifties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing too crazy, not too old. No, usually not too many woke people. Oh, that's but yeah, nice. I know, right? But usually the brewery crowd. I usually get a lot of brewery, like I do a bunch of brewery shows. Mm-hmm. But definitely like people in their twenties, thirties, forties, probably majority, which is great. Those yeah. are those are my people. And do you sometimes feel like it's challenging to make jokes to 20-year-olds versus 50-year-olds? A hundred percent. Yeah. But also, I I feel like that in certain situations, I'm like, if my material isn't working, I will turn to crowd work and I will just do my best uh. and, just, and then go back to my material that I know will do okay, you know yeah. what I mean, like to close out the show. But yeah, I definitely think... Well, because like also there's so many like, like these woke people. Like, I will never <laughs> forget... It's, and I have the recording somewhere. I did a show in Boston and I did two shows. The first show did really well. Second show, the kid, with, it was a guy with three of his friends and his girlfriend. And he looked just like the Boston bomber. And I'm in Boston. And I I started talking to him before I did any of my jokes like an idiot. Yeah. And then I kept saying, and then I just was said, I was like, oh, the girl, I said to the girl, I was like, I, mean, I, I, I said something along the lines of like, she likes fucking a terrorist and all this other stuff. And him and his friends are dying it, loving it. 
bombed. Everyone else oh. hated me. They're like, why are you bringing up this tragedy? <laughs> and I'm like, because it's funny. <laughs> um, and uh, and for the rest of that set, any they hated me for the rest of the set. And I kept referencing that dude because it was so funny. <sighs> uh, but people are so woke. It's annoying sometimes. Certain places are woke. Boston can be very woke. Yeah. Like certain jokes I do, they don't like it. Dude, I went to Sensitiva. I went to a uh, um, Sensitiva. Sensitiva. They're being very sensitive. Oh, Sensitiva. She's just being weird. You're just saying that uh, word in a very cute, finesse. It's like how people <laughs> say, oh, like the new thing is Delulu. Have you heard that? No, what is that? The new phrase that girls use are like, I'm being Delulu. Like, like delusional? Being, yeah, but it's like Delulu. Ah. Feeding into the Delulu. Oh my God. Like, what are you doing? I would smack a bitch. <laughs> it's not fucking Dr. Seuss <laughs> over here. You're fucking having a mental breakdown <laughs> and you just want to be a slut. Yeah. Uh, that's really what Delulu Hey, means. we're any Delulus out there. <laughs> 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 All right, conti- continue. <laughs> I forgot you can't see a wink through these. God I know, damn. I know, quiet. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, yeah, uh, when you do crowd work, do and people. Oh no, that was not what I was gonna say. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, I actually had this in my pocket right here. I was at I like st- it. Stir the other day. Stir. Uh, it's a gay bar. Love it. And uh, it's an open mic there. And this girl, every she must have been on some type like she's definitely gay. Okay. And uh, but like she, her and her girlfriend were like they were like hard gay. Like you know like they were leather jackets. Oh, I love. Oh, they were hard. Hard. Gay. Yeah, not like they were like really. They're just tough lesbians. Yeah, tough. Tough is a better word. Not like hard, like rubbing each other. Like, you know, like, I don't know. It might, when you said hard, I thought like, no, when you said hard, I was like thinking like butch, mm. jacked bitches. Yeah, no, they were definitely skinny, but like okay. they were like uh, fucking like hard, hard, fake hard. I don't know. But like uh, this, the one was like really fucked up and every dude set, uh, she would just like break in and be like, that's not funny. You should do it like this. And like some dude was like talking about Chris Christie and how he's like such a fucking douchebag. Nice. And like making fun of his weight and like fucking she was like, Chris Christie has done so much worse. And like about like then goes into like the politics. Oh my and he God. was like, oh, like, but like, that's not what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. you're missing the whole thing. She was like, it's not funny. <laughs> and I was like, so I left. I was like, oh, I'm not even going to go I'm not up. dealing with this <laughs> lesbian like, right now. I was like, she's going to break me, dude. <laughs> I was like, she has uh, nothing like nothing like uh, fucking good is going to come out of my, her mouth. That's not fun. Having a bad hecklers are the worst. Yeah. Well, I don't mind them. It's just like she was like on a mission. She was on a mission to be like tearing all the men down. Yeah. Some lesbians really hate men. I know. And I'm like, hey, I could be gay, but just be straight with me. here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you should have started your set. You should have stayed. Yeah. Well, that that kind of line can only come out right here because it was like. <laughs> I would not have that smoothness. You would have been too much of a pussy up there. You'd be like, uh, uh. Just beat me up. Don't make fun of me. I know, right? No, I would do the same thing. I'm too much of a pussy. I seem hard, but I'm, yeah. I'm a pussy. I, I I try to be hard. That's why I kind of grew out this little beard. How's it looking for me? This little guy? You impressed by it? It took me 30 years to grow this. I don't know what is it. What's going on? Why isn't it connected to the rest of your Damn face? it! Damn it! See, I always I was thinking about this a lot in the bathroom. You look like one of those guys that has a ponytail <laughs> that works in a science lab that never gets pussy that has this like little patch. You know what I mean? Do you, I know you know who exactly I'm talking about because I saw you were contact lenses. I was like, oh, this checks out. 100%. Um, oh my god! See, I thought this was hard, but you're right. I need the rest. It's of the beard. Ha- well, it's not hard. No. <laughs> It's borderline. <laughs> it's not soft, but it's not hard. And then with the long hair, it's not working. It's not working. You need the sunglasses. <laughs> all I'm gonna say. Yes, yes. Um, yes. No, you're working through a trans. It's yeah. like you're you're transitioning. Mm. Um, <laughs> but you need to grow the hair out, yeah. and you need to grow more. I can't get, grow this. Get, ri- get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get oh. rid of it. So I used to do that. Yeah, and the whole baby face. Yeah. yeah, girls love. I love a baby face. Uh, then I gotta buzz the whole head though. No, why can't you grow your hair out and have and have a baby face? It just, it just looks so much cuter if I have the buzz all, all done. What do you look like with hair? Do you have pictures? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I used to have a man bun back in my college. Oh my god, spot on. I called it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's already one twenty. Yeah, we can uh, wrap this up a little soon. Okay. Yeah, because uh, she's going to a wedding. Uh, while I'm finding this long hair picture. What would your dream wedding be like? Um, dream wedding. Um, actually, you know what? I like think my dream wedding would be like mountaintop, like outdoors. Mm. Like w- I, a girl I, from high school, like you know, like some, you know, people on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Them, she, um, she went to a, a girl I know got married in Colorado, oh. and like forty people went because I knew a girl in the wedding, uh-huh. and like it was just like the most beautiful. You know what I mean? Like yeah. rustic setting. 
Um, so definitely something like outdoorsy like that. that. What, would, what would your dream be? Would you do a destination? <sighs> Honestly, if I got such a baddie behind me, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe we just go out, me, her, my parents, her parents, our sister, brother, whatever. Dusty? Yeah, just for us, do the ceremony. Come back somewhere local, do a rager. Yeah, you know obviously. I mean? Something like that, that type of deal. But I don't know, because, you know, wedding is not for me. It's for her. So yeah. It's whatever the babe wants. Let me see the pony. Is this the pony? No, no. So this is, I don't actually think I have a picture of a ponytail. Oh, you look cute. Oh, thank you. What's that little soul patch? You're like. Yeah, that's like, but before. Um, I, you look like a rapper. I used to rock a soul patch. I don't like it either. Yeah. I used to just say I have a little bit of soul. Never do that ever again. Oh, God. Don't ever do a soul patch ever again. Although I see that you have it. Uh, I do. Because it goes <laughs> with the rest of the beard. <laughs> I like how I'm just like <laughs> no, you're ugly. You're no, not no, ugly. no. I need this. I no, need no, no, no. You're asking a female's opinion. Yes, yes, and that's very. It's that's what you need. I would say because I'm into if you females. only can grow a chin beard, <laughs> don't grow it. I feel like that's just a normal. I don't know. I feel like this. I'm like, where's the rest of it? Where is it? I love that. That's what like that makes sense because when I look in the mirror, I'm like, where is the rest? Of where it? is the rest? I would of be it? so much hotter if it connected. You know what you could do, and I know guys that have done this because my so i have my eyebrows microbladed because uh-huh. i pulled them all out in high school um what does that mean you to make they're them tattooed like... eyebrows whoa yeah these are tattooed and then filled in with the eyebrow pencil but they're not real i don't have i have like very few hairs in my eyebrows whoa i know i have a joke i have a joke about it i don't like i don't mind talking about it um, i didn't know this whole time yeah thank yeah. you yeah <laughs> most people don't and but uh my the lady that does my eyebrows um there's people that like are bald uh-huh. and they get tattooed hair yeah and then but they'll get tattooed like five o'clock shadow yeah so it looks like they always have a beard but they really you could do that yeah but see the thing about eyebrows is it's okay because it's a flush against the skin most of the time yeah beards sometimes are cool if they have volume oh my god can you imagine like someone touching your face it's so smooth they're like Oh. Yeah, so it's like you know what I mean. That would look weird. But right. great suggestion. Yeah, I was, I, I was trying to. I was. Yeah. I was hoping for you. Yeah, and then some people have. Um, you wash your face with Rogaine? No, I just. The, honestly, I since I've been ice balling it, like I told you. Yeah. I the, <laughs> it has been like growing in a little bit more like. I've been gro- Can like you lean over. Why well, I, I buzzed oh, I see it. a couple. I buzzed it. For I this. see like f- like four. Yeah, no, 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 but you know what I mean. Like I have seen more hair. Like even this beard is like beard. Uh, is like a fucking uh, because Chin of strap. the ice ball. You know what I mean. I feel bad that I like made fun of your no, facial hair. No, 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 you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I feel no. really bad. No, don't, don't, don't. Are you don't. sure? I I'm literally trying not to be mean. No, no, no. I love it for the. Con- oh I love it. <laughs> the no. content. It's great. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, no, we're friends. Like, no, no, it's not bad. But I'm like, you look ugly. No, no, no. I need that because sometimes boys go through this phase where i messaged all my friends about this right and, and I they're like no bro you look great yeah and then i had one friend kara she was like it's it's something she says <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> that's her being a nice friend yeah, yeah exactly it definitely is something i think if you can grow some more hair yeah. here and it can connect yeah, yeah yeah if you can't connect it get rid of it well, it's gone. But I would say keep growing the hair out. Ah, uh, see, the thing I'm kind of curious. I hate. Actually, this is another picture of the hair long. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's. I a, think you look cute. It's but it's a lot to manage because it's like I have straight hair, so I got to put product in it. Okay. And I hate putting product in it because the longevity of your hair then kind of. Okay. With boys, you know what I mean? Because you're pulling at like you're pulling at it. You know. You know, like, I understand. Yeah. I have hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got so, it. And then I'm like, but see, I. I don't know. See, I always, this is just a personal preference. I like hair on guys. Yeah. I'm a big hair girl. So that's all. That's yeah. why I'm just saying, grow your hair out. I know. And honestly, and I, you have like hair. Yeah. Like, that's the thing is a lot of guys buzz their hair because they don't have hair. Mm. You are lucky to have gorgeous, thick Indian hair. I you have know. the Indian hair. You have hair everywhere. It's beautiful. You should grow it out. It's beautiful black, mm. rich, yeah. voluminous. Yeah. Thank thick. you. Thank you. You know, it looks good. I'm this is a, I'm hyping you up. Yeah. This is my hype. Well, after you. calling me ugly for so long, you have to. <laughs> I'm like your hair is thick. You got a lot. Of, men love the word. It wasn't thick my beard, too. but my hair. <laughs> beard, uh, but yeah, no, yeah, definitely. I would say try it. Yeah. Or no, but you look good with the buzz too. Yeah, I mean, I like the buzz. It's just you know, like I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Because, but the nice thing about having long hair is I love when like I get like the grabbing this part. Yeah. Oh, this is just like. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that cat thing. You know when you grab a cat by its scruff? Yeah, I know. It just, oh, yeah, it's nice. But then I'm like, <sighs> sometimes. Don't I, you like when girls grab your hair? I did in my youth. Not anymore. But now I'm thinking, like, if they, like, think it's, like, 
too much. Yeah. And like, and I'm like, hey, calm down. Yeah. yeah. Just pet me. I'm getting old now. Yeah. Hey, relax. Calm down. Relax, you whore. Slut. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you're into right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess I'm into the older, mature slut. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. How? What's older for you? Uh, I want to. I mean, since I'm turning 30, so I, I wouldn't mind trying to see. late 30s or 40s. Ah. Uh, honestly, I don't have an upper limit. Okay. Yeah, I'm just out here. Are you over the younger limit though? I have like um, no, I have a uh, like uh, maybe like 25, 26. Yeah. That's like you know I don't think I can like yeah sure a 22 year old would be like fun but like I don't think mentally I can like I tolerate it. When I was 30, I remember on a date with a 22 year old just because he was hot. Yeah. And he was hot, but like that was it. Like he lived at home with his parents. Yeah. Like it was like do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was like. And the substance wasn't there, yeah. but I was just like, but you're pretty. We made out. Maybe but. I can just like give you some trauma now. So yeah, the next literally. <laughs> no, but I also feel like they're so naive and easy to mold. I can see why guys pick up younger girls because there's like easy, younger people are so easy. Yeah. Not trying to be a piece of shit, but younger people are easy to mold. Yeah. They are. They'll, because they like, because you're like, you have money, mm -hmm. you have established. You're, they you know they can mean? trust you because you're like not like their family. Yes. You, know, you, they, you seem cool to them. Like they, they see that you own your own like one bedroom apartment apartment and yeah. they're like wow this guy has it together yeah. no it's like fucking that's the life yeah but then you realize you know but then I, but no but you're gonna find when you go out to date with these like 30 something year old women although i don't know it's philly yeah i don't know what the vibes of 35 year old philly women are i don't know i want someone to teach me something for once in my life you yeah know? i want to be just <laughs> want someone to be like hey you're doing this wrong do this and i'm like all right mom a, oh okay <laughs> so you want a mom all right nice you could definitely get that yeah yeah but you know i was like on the dating ass i was i always thought i wanted a woman with kids yeah but i don't think i i like went on a couple dates with guys with kids and it's i think the same thing i'm like i don't want to do that i don't want to yeah. parent someone else's kids yeah exactly. my sister is dating someone right now my sister has kids and she's mm. dating someone with kids and like he will never listen to the podcast her boyfriend but yeah. like sometimes she's just like like one of those the kids she's like he's being such a pain in the ass but like i can't do anything about it because i'm not his mom you yeah. know what i mean and like you have to like it's just like frustrating i would say like having to co-parent with someone else who mm -hmm. parents a different way and then like they're not your kids so you can't be a complete asshole to them because they're not your kids oh so you know what I mean? yeah and then like you take their fruit snacks and they get mad right what the fuck <laughs> that's the best thing about going to my sister's house she's lots of good snacks yeah. i do love that's the perks of dating a mom great snacks but. she'll suck your dick and then give you a she'll give you some uh, what's a uh, chips ahoy cookies after oh, that'd be call nice. back ah. this episode should be called callbacks <laughs> or maybe is my cooter out <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> i've done that multiple times so you could do that every time i open my legs <laughs> Oh, all right. This has been a, a good time, I think. You oh, my need, God. I had so much fun. Yeah, you need to get out of here. Tell the people where to find you. Oh, my God. Okay. Find me on Instagram and Facebook, Aya Shemay. He'll spell it on his podcast. And then I also <laughs> run Filthy Comedy. So if you like fucked up comedy mm -hmm. i post clips from comics i feature and i have shows all over connecticut and hopefully maybe i'll maybe i should i should do a filthy comedy show out here all right give me a cheers this has been a pleasure i finished my drink oh okay cheers. i'll cheer right. thank you again mm -hmm. this was so much fun deuces bye